<laughs> Can I get a moment? No, I'm playing. You always manage to find me. I wanted to go spy on the audience department. You know, here at Wendy, sometimes you think it looks easy, but it's not so easy. And I gotta tell you something. Melissa has been my chief executive for the audience department since 2008, our six week sneak peek. And she's never wavered. <laughs> oh God, Jesus. The show, the show is over, Marco. I still have work to do. Rub your booty on it! <laughs> I'm luxuriating. Oh, I see. No, look, look what Marco's sitting on. Uh-huh, look what he's doing. Okay. Chair. Noel. How you doing, Wendy? He's Tonto to the Lone Ranger. That would be <laughs> Melissa. Turn your TV down. Hello. Yeah. And then Drayson is, who are you to them? Their assistant. The point is that they do a really terrific job, which I, you know, on it, honestly, no, no, I'll sit on the refrigerator. I'm fine. I'm fine. You sit down, dear. <laughs> <laughs> um, this is the audience department of our show, and there are so many components that go into making a great talk show. Agree? No. Yeah. You dyed your hair. Yeah. It looks great. Thank you. I know. I went a little darker. Yes. Yeah. Does your husband love it? Yeah, he likes it. What's yeah. your mom say? I haven't seen her in a while. She hasn't. She was in California, <laughs> so she hasn't seen my hair. Wait, she was just here at the show. My mom. What well, that? I know. It feels like she was just here, but it was oh, already. Um, that was last. It was like. Um, oh God. Yeah. That was last okay. Season. I need a nap. <laughs> okay. The Time point. Flies. The mm -hmm. point is, is that Melissa is a mom, and she's married, and she lives in Jersey. And she doesn't have a lot of time for foolishness. <laughs> so I was just extolling your virtues while we were walking here, saying that you've been with the show since 2008. Yeah. But you've always gotten it. And you've surrounded yourself by fantastic people. Yeah. Ooh. No, I'm Ooh. very lucky. And this audience department runs. So, what makes great audience members? Their energy. If they just, we love when they're coming to have a great time and they come just to see you. And when they have solid bright colors, just it comes out great on camera. And I mean, the, the most, it's just their, their energy. We just love their excitement. They come with them when we give them their ticket and they're finally in, like they, a lot of them are just so excited that they get to actually come and see you. Now, what time does the violation start? If we're live out of New York at 10 a.m., what time do you tell people to be here? We open the doors at 8. So I get in at like 6.45 and I, there's already people lined up. Aww. Yeah. <laughs> you know what's amazing to me? We've suffered like Hurricane Sandy and some really horrific snowstorms, but we've never had an empty audience. Because I'm waiting for that day. <laughs> <laughs> like, honestly, no, because that'll be like one of the best days ever. Because what I would do is have everyone on the staff sit in the audience. Right. <laughs> Right, yeah. I mean, just we've randomly. We've gotten really lucky. Especially yep. that was tough. Hurricane Sandy was one of the most difficult times we've had getting an audience to come. Because we, we could do Ask Wendy, and I'd be all in Noelle's business. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm not in your business, but you know, you're a very nice looking man. Thank you, Wendy. And uh, perhaps there's more that we can learn. So on the day of the snowstorm, right. she's coming for you. Just she be is, ready. She is. <laughs> mm -hmm. Drayson, and you will not be overlooked. I'm always quiet. Marco, uh -huh. you've exposed way too much. <laughs> Marco's having a good time with that massage chair. Yeah, mm -hmm. I say, rub it. I'm not screaming. I appreciate, I appreciate when audience members have fresh breath. Okay, <laughs> well, here's the thing. Marco, That's um, true. in between commercials, Marco is screaming to the music, and I mean that in a good way. He's very flirtatious with the women. What? And yes, not in a terrible way, but Marco is definitely the number one hype man of oh. daytime talk. Yes, he is. Marco's definitely. Yeah. Yes, he is. I'm actually one of the audience producers too, Wendy. 
No, I know. Didn't you get an Emmy nominated? Uh, we. We. Okay, we. We all did, yeah. <laughs> we did. But we lost. Oh, so great. it's a room full of losers. Okay. It was still so much fun going though. People always say it's so difficult to get tickets. And why is it that they look sometimes at our show and they see a lot of the same people? Now, I love my regulars, but maybe you can explain that because I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Well, yeah, we do. We get we get a, a lot, a lot of requests. We can't accommodate all of the requests, but then the day before, last minute, we get a lot of cancellations. So we have to fill in those empty spots. So we call our regulars because they they've helped us out last minute, and so that's why a lot of times people will see them in there because they're the ones that we either call the day before we ask them to come right. like, sometimes we even call them the morning of we'll say can you be here in an hour see i didn't know this and i had i had no idea so they live clearly they don't live in like la they live like right, right around the corner <laughs> yeah they either there, live, there's some that live in queens yeah and they literally queens, travel Brooklyn. the morning of just to come and sit in an audience that's so nice yeah it's really nice just to know that like, there's a good like 10 of them that mm -hmm. will just yeah be there right when we need them, which is great. Oh, you got it! I did. I've been wanting to thank you for it. Yes. I love it. Yeah, I you look like my daughter. I got mine too. <laughs> you look, you like, look like five I look like I'm, I'm photo bombing. <laughs> like, like you did, Marco. Yes, thank you. You're welcome. I appreciate it. Yeah. Where's mine? But I love the picture. Well, you weren't there. there. Okay. There. No, it'll be you the Christmas party. Yeah. And then I take the right. pictures. Oh, no. yeah, yeah. And then I like to, you know, I was, I wanted to clear out my. Is that what you call it? The queue. The is it? What? The queue, yeah, I've heard that. I had too many pictures in my phone, mm -hmm. right? and I wanted to clear them out. Yes, I need to do that also, because now I have no more storage left on my phone, so I exactly. have to clear it out. I'm so, so bad at that. Phone. At the Christmas party, <laughs> at the Christmas party, uh, we'll take a picture, and then I'll clear it out of my queue. Cool, okay. All right. Sounds good. Yeah. And on the first snow day, <laughs> <laughs> we're going to find out what's in your queue. <laughs> right. First snow day. So, so well. why would first snow day? Let's look now. So, um, let's call people. Okay, here. Come sit. I, I sanitize my phone. No, I, I don't want to it. sit. You, you're, gonna, you're calling. But you're making the phone calls. You're making the phone calls. How does my um, bouffant look from the back? Wait, I, I, <laughs> the front look is better than the back look. I'll get you from the front. Don't worry. I have a lot of... Uh, <laughs> oh, <laughs> let's, let's call some people that are going to be in the audience and see what happens. Wait, hold on. Hold on. You're gonna be shocked. Oh God. Funny. You'd be surprised. Do you know I call people when they send me like goodies? You know? Really? Oh yes, Wendy Watchers, when you include your telephone number, don't be surprised if I call you. I just talked to a girl named Shanice the other day and she made a picture of me and Kevin and Kevin. And it was so, be I unwrapped it like on, it was like big, and I didn't unwrap it until like Saturday night. Michael? How, Michael? Yes? How you doing? How you doing? It's, it's <laughs> Wendy! <laughs> so Wendy, how are you? Really? Hey, you, Wendy, how you doing? <laughs> were you expecting this call? I'm kind of sort of. Why? Just standing around me trying to see how you doing. Oh, well, they can do it collectively. <laughs> so ready? One, two, three. How are you doing? <laughs> so Michael, I'm looking forward to seeing you when you come to the show to celebrate your 30th birthday. I can't wait. I'm super excited. Uh, who are you bringing with you? I'm going to bring my best friend. And will you be staying overnight in New York or going right back to D.C.? My boss said I had to come back to D.C. Yeah. Do you have a question for Ask Wendy? I, I come up with one. Well, that'd be fun. <laughs> would you like Would you like to play now? Okay, sure. Well, all your coworkers are there. Maybe it's going to be something more personal. Um, no. I was just a big family here. We're a big family here. Okay. Is there anything I can help you with? What's a good way to ask your boss, who's not listening, for a raise? Well, how long have you not worked there? Not listening, though. How, how long have you worked there, Michael? 
Um, been a couple, well, been about a month, but I think that my work ethic, you know, deserves a raise. Michael, have several seats. <laughs> <laughs> I'll, I'll see you when you get here. Bye. <laughs> one month and he's asking for a raise. Why I order. As a matter of fact, one month and he's coming to our show? Right. Where are his priorities? <laughs> I mean, we have that wheel, but, you know, and that pays some... Where's Suzanne? <laughs> is Suzanne around? She brought yeah. Should we get her? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bring her in here. All right, let's call somebody else. You know, it was so funny the other day when we were talking to Kim Fields. And she goes, oh my gosh, there's the hype lady. Or whatever she called Suzanne. The hype lady? And yeah, that was it. That's part funny. of me loves that, but the other part feels so insulted because, you know, Suzanne, she's an executive producer for right. my show. Yeah. And even before that, like, <laughs> hyping the audience that you place. Hello, is Mrs. Wendy. Uh, <laughs> did you call for me? I was picking beans out of my tea. I'm picking. Wait, are you calling people? Yeah, from the Just audience. Oh my God. Look, yeah. the other day when what? Kim Fields called you the hype lady, yes. I was saying, you know, on one hand, where's Jeanette, please? Uh oh. Well, she won't be able to attend the show. She was in the hospital Hi, last. This is Jeanette. I'll leave I her. I can't come to the phone right now. What? So, I am either you know, when she called you the hype lady, like when people do it's that. Late for I can't talk on myself. And we can or laugh amongst time. each other. But I right. do want to talk to you, so please. But it kind of makes me upset that people think you. that your life is reduced to hyping. No, it's okay. You, it's between us. It's fine. Not necessarily. Hold on. Look, if you say it's Suzanne. Okay. Hi, Jeanette. It's Wendy. And it's Suzanne. How you doing? How you doing? <laughs> Sorry to hear that you won't be able to come to the show. I know you got your tickets already, but I'm sitting here with Melissa and the whole team from our audience department. So when you're feeling better, make sure that you contact Melissa and uh, wear something good and you'll be in the front row. Okay? Take care. Bye, Bye. Jersey girl. Yeah, she's just, gonna die when she gets that message. I know she's like, damn it! I but it just that. makes me feel yeah, like. Yeah, but it's okay. It's okay because that's fine, and you don't need to explain it. Like you, you can't just explain on live TV. Listen, Kim Fields, <laughs> here's what here's what the deal is. Yeah, but like, you can't go in the whole explanation. The credits at the end of the show yeah. roll so fast, you yeah. don't even see yeah, that well, you're you know, not the clapper. Maybe you should tell someone to slow that down. No, and because it on my name for. <laughs> 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 so what bit of buffoonery are you going to be wearing tomorrow to spin the uh, wheel? Yeah, I, mean, I don't. I don't tell anyone. Everyone finds out live on the show. Does Brendan know? Do you no, practice uh, your costumes? Brendan knows because it has to be hidden behind the wheel, and you know he's in charge of like get the wheel out. Right. He sees it and he holds it for me. Do you like my bouffant? Yeah, I love your bouffant. It's messy. It is. It's How many wigs is that? Is that just one? Just wig? one wig. Really? But a lot of pins. That it is. It's perfect. Yeah. It's more than one. How wig? long is it if you take it down? Like, no, like, is my hair getting too long, no, do you think? No, it's, it's good. Oh, can I keep it going? Okay. Yeah. Okay. How long are you going to let it go? So you tell me it's too long. When Wait, don't act like that. Hey, this is Mario. No, no. Are you serious, Mario? Number and a brief message, and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Have a good day. Mario, hi, it's Wendy, and guess who else is here? It's Suzanne! How you doing, Mario? <laughs> So Mario, I got the word from my audience department that you're flying in from Oregon and you're traveling with your mom and spending a week in New York to celebrate your 34th birthday! Yay! Still clapping. The big three Mario, I can't wait to see you when you get here. I am so upset that you're not picking up the phone right now, but you can treasure this message for the rest of your life. I'm gonna give you a good clean how you doing, okay? <clears throat> How you doing? <laughs> <laughs> See you when you get here. Bye, Mario. Thank you for watching our show. Right. He's gonna die. He's gonna die. You won't even believe that. No, you know I call people. You do? I didn't know that. I was just telling them. Yeah. I, I, on camera or like when you're home? <laughs> um, <laughs> from, the, from, the, from her office. From your office? From you my, call I, I block the number. Okay. Because you never know who's crazy and who's not. And, but if you send me something, if it's like a scarf yeah. or, you know, if you include your telephone number, because I don't FaceTime, email, and all that, I don't know that. 
But if you leave your telephone number, yeah, I've got a whole weird life in my office. Oh my God, that's fascinating. And it really involves Wendy watchers and weirdness. I think I'm going to have that. you, wait, you got to call you my, yes. Yeah, because when people check in and they have a gift, I tell them make sure your information's on it. Because I know you've done it on the after show where you Listen, give you people shout you have to call my good friend Desi. He watches this after show every day. Just say hi, Desi. He's, no. he's in Boston. It's not the same. He knows you. So th he's oh, an does, insider. It doesn't matter. No, he does. I don't really know him. He's a friend of my brother's. He he watches the after show. Um, excuse me. Hello, Carol? Yes. Hi, it's Wendy, and Suzanne's here, too. How you doing? Hi. How are you? <laughs> Hi, Carol. Carol, I love that you're one of our regulars here at the show. How many times have you been here? Oh, gosh. Uh, five or six. See? Is it difficult to secure tickets? Because I'm sitting with Melissa and the gang in the audience department. Hi, Carol. Yeah, actually, it's very easy. Really easy. What do you do? What do you know? <laughs> huh? How, what do you mean it's easy? Like, people love these tickets. How do you, how do you get slipped in? Uh, I just go online, and um, I just pick a date that I'm available, and then I just send the email to your staff, and then they get back to me within a week or two. And everybody's always polite, right? Oh, absolutely. They're wonderful. And what, uh, tell everyone, because we're on the after show right now, Carol, what happens here at the show during commercial break? Go ahead. Um, well, everybody gets crazy, um, that's for sure. <laughs> and I'm sitting here with a, a, an office person of mine, and we went to your show just a couple weeks ago, and it was her first time at the show, and she absolutely loves it. She was, she was getting her groove on, girl. <laughs> and, and Marco G., who um, is my host in the audience, hyping up the crowd, telling oh, everyone... Oh, I love him. I love him. He's got a way with the women, right? Oh, he sure does. Mm -hmm. oh. Now, do you normally come alone, or do you normally bring a friend, like you just said, you're bringing a friend? <laughs> Yes, I never come alone. Yeah. I go with a bunch of people or just one person. Now, because I'm seeing that I'm calling you, you're in the 609, so you're way down in South Jersey. Yes, I'm South Jersey by Cape May. Oh, oh wow, you're at the tip. Yes. Yeah. Exit zero. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> exit zero. Well, Carol, I just wanted to call you to tell you thank you so much for being a regular and thank you for... Oh, my so gosh, thank you. All right, have a good day, Carol. You too. Take care. Bye, everybody. Bye. Oh. So, are you just calling to say hi, or do they, are you are you giving them tickets? I'm calling to say hello. Okay. <laughs> are you shocked? <laughs> no, I love this. I know. I know. You I worked other places. No, no, no. This is amazing <laughs> so to me. You're just calling. Them. You're just saying hi. I love these that. Have so. They do not. Uh -uh. So it means. Now we're not calling them from a blocked number, which means Melissa, you'll <laughs> be getting. Don't call me back. Oh, God. Yeah. Are you going to change your number right after this? Nah, they, I, I make calls a lot from there. So it's, I have caller ID at least. Oh, God. Yes. <laughs> now, what oh, no. I'm calling Donna. Oh, Donna. Oh, Donna. Summer. The music in the audience is so good. I and I. No, do you want to know what? Omanaya played Girls Just Want to Have Fun the other day. Yeah. I almost had a heart attack. Love I told that. him to play it again. That's the best for yeah. me. I love that yeah. song. Yeah. But, like, he, no one usually plays that. No, well, I've started. Um, I make requests in yeah. the audience. Like, when you hear, hear Sylvester dance uh -huh. with me in the. Donna, it's Wendy. How you doing? <laughs> Oh, good. How are you? I and guess who else is here? Suzanne. Hi, Donna. How are you doing? Hi, I'm doing good. Thank you. So, Donna, I'm so glad that you support our show. I know that you have tickets for the show. I've been informed by the audience department. Who are you bringing with you? I'm bringing my crazy sister-in-law, who's very excited to come also. Roseanne. Perfect. Perfect. And what will you guys do? Like, will you just come? Because you're right out. You're literally like a mile away from New York, separated by the Hudson River. So will you make a whole day of it and go out for lunch here? Or will you go back to your house after the show? Of course. No, we usually come into the city and we make a day of it. We'll go to the show. Sometimes we'll go have lunch. We'll uh, go to the 
go to Midtown. We'll see if we can catch some tickets for a play at night. You know, we'll try to make a day out of it. I used to listen to you back in the radio days also, so we've been followers for a while. Thank you, Donna. Here's, here, here's my thought on doing a show. And you don't know this. Uh, you don't know this, but... Um, Suzanne, and we never formally talked about it, but here's how I feel when you do a show. Okay. There's a show on TV, mm -hmm. and then there's a whole nother show behind the scenes. I am I'm... not that host who's going to, like, ignore you if you're in the oh. audience. Uh, well, baby, please. And it's, mm -hmm. I've worked at other shows and where the host doesn't even look at the audience or talk to them. Yeah. Or they, yeah. Or they go backstage. You interact. And you are motivated, and yeah, we, we love that. Yeah, that's, it's the best. I think what and makes you, you separate you from everyone else is yeah. that you do interact. You get everyone up there and bowing, and and everybody is is really into the show. Well, Donna, I'm I'm a little shocked. How do you know so much about uh, talk shows? Or do you go from show to show? We spend a few talk shows. Yes. Yeah. We go to some. You know, where when we come into the city, we've been to a few. That's why we we do kind of compare different ones, and it's. I have to say, yours is a little hard to get tickets for, but <laughs> we do love to come. Is is our show the funnest? Is it the funnest? Yes. It's very high energy. And that's what makes it so <laughs> <laughs> Hashtag loud as hell. <laughs> <laughs> well, Donna, I appreciate you. Nice no, I appreciate you um, loving our show. We do. And I, I follow you online, and we follow you on all the social media and watch your show, and we love coming to the show. So. You know, continue to do what you're doing because you're doing it good. Thank you, Donna. Oh, Have a great right, day. Great. I'll see you soon. You too. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye. Bye, Bye, Donna. Yeah, that's, that's, but that's the that's thing. Nice. That's no, the it's thing. true. You mm -hmm. do. You're up there dancing with the audience in commercial break. I mean, I've never seen that before. Really? Oh, we'll talk off, off camera about <laughs> what I've witnessed. Well, my places. thing is, is that everyone's got problems, <laughs> and not for nothing, this one hour a day, well, that one, it's, done now but that one hour a day really does it really is um you know it takes you away from mm -hmm. your mess mm -hmm. and it starts with stacking the audience correctly mm -hmm. right mm -hmm. yeah. po politeness here when you say hello audience department right mm -hmm. then it mm -hmm. starts with oh excuse me it continues with it continues with the proper music yeah. mm -hmm. of which i know that boof and omanaya know mm -hmm. the music mm -hmm. but you know what they would have never thought about girls just want to have fun yeah. or Sylvester. I love Donna Summer. I love Madonna. Mm -hmm. I mean, I like ratchet music, music in between and whatnot. But I think that the music that we play really has to motivate people. Yes. Mm -hmm. And then you have to have the perfect audience host, and that would be Marco J. Mm -hmm. Yes. Uh, yep, it's true. Yes. It's You're in the way. Mm -hmm. oh. <laughs> they can't see Marco. They can't, they can't. Oh, Marco G, who's that? <laughs> but, but Marco G, you know, um, he just really pulls it all together, and you've got a way about you. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. I try to create, like, a, the ambiance and the energy, like, in the morning. It's it's early, so, you know, I can... I can uh, <laughs> feel for the audience for coming here they're waiting online you know the weather can be really bad but once they get in and once it's time for you know us to get things going like i create the energy within me and then i try to give it to them and we bounce it off of each other and like they feed off each other's energy and then you know wendy feeds off of everybody's energy when you come out yeah. so it's like i you know i feel like i'm like a fireball and just bing, 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 bing. Exactly. Off that's a good. That's a good way of putting it. A fireball. That's why I always run out when I come out. I don't know. Well, you don't see this. Oh, you do run out. I run straight at them. Like, cause then they and like they get jolted. Well, also we keep it cold. That too. That keeps everybody <laughs> awake. Well, I've called everybody. It's time for me to go back to Jersey, oh. but not before. Mm -mm. It's okay. I'll see you all tomorrow. Oh, yeah. No, I'm going by your tomorrow. office. I want to see what's on the walls. Okay, come along. All right, let's just go spy on hey. Suzanne's already picked out. I've already eaten breakfast. I am the robe lady. I've got so many robes, it's ridiculous, and I love them. I love them all. Mm -hmm. Oh. Which way is audience holding? How do we get there? We're gonna take the freight elevator. Okay. Yeah, Jessica is uh, holding the camera. Whoa. 
Oh. Ray Noya Hello, Miss Wendy. is my line producer. Yes, he is. And he has been with me since the six week sneak peek. I'm one of the elite eight. Yep. There are only eight of us left? There may not even be eight now. Wow. I'd have to go through it. And of course, my memory is getting older. Yeah, well, when I met Ray, okay, his hair was, you'd be jealous. His hair was down here. I was and young you, once. And you were swinging it. I was. And then was. you didn't have to cut your hair, though. No, I did it just because a 40 year old doesn't need to have long hair anymore. And then you're, to me, that's trying too hard. I did just get my first tattoo, though. You did? Yes. At 51. Midlife crisis much? I can't do drugs. I don't. I can't afford an expensive car. Yeah. You know, Matt's cheap. Yeah. Um, did you get that? <laughs> um, so I got my first tattoo. What does it look like? Can I see? Go, Ray. Are you still in love? Yes. Oh, wow. This is very intricate. H happily married for five years. How many slugs of, uh, did you have to? Nothing. Nothing? Sat there for three and a half hours. Never got it. And I'm getting more. You get one. You know you have. Yeah, I have one. I hate it. I got it over my tummy tuck mark, by the way. I saw you all's comments. Yes, I pushed Kevin out of my feminine uh, wild. <laughs> I got the um, tattoo to cover my tummy tuck. This is a midlife crisis, so. We all have them. Mm -hmm. Yes, absolutely. Oh, please. Are you ready? Are they, do they know? Do they know? Charles, you're not calling anybody ahead of time, are you? Why are you talking in your sleeve? Copy that, Charles. Copy that. Patrick's right up there. Uh, yeah, we're right here. We're standing right here by the arm. This is the freight elevator. So glamorous. <laughs> Lift the door, it's kind of heavy. Oh, Ray can't do it. Short jokes. Short jokes forever. Little Ray. I love a good short show. Okay. Thanks, Pat. What's Patrick's job? In front job? of the boss. Patrick is a do-it-all. In front of the boss. I don't even know what you're... What, what's your title here, Pat? He's my office mate. I'm, his, I'm Ray's office mate. But I'm, you do... I'm, I'm the production manager now. Shh. You know, I help out uh, with anything Wendy needs. Uh, okay. I'm the intern coordinator. Oh, yeah, if you want to be an intern, this is your boss. Yeah, that's me. Okay. You know, distribution of giveaways, help with the office. You know, I make sure everything gets done right. That's it. How you doing? who are really late, because this is... It's another one. Oh. <laughs> They're all outside. There's still more people to surprise. I, I, oh my goodness. Well, no, because I'm, I'm ready. Like, I know what I'm wearing and stuff. So I said, let me just come downstairs and say hi Did to you I all. I appreciate you all coming to the show. Yeah, you take it from afar, madam. Oh. Because <laughs> we're not going to start that. Okay, no, no. Go ahead. Okay. Well, you yes, you are. Don't split the pole, Jessica, or something bad will happen. Yeah. yeah, I do believe in that. All right, she's still dialing up her phone. I got it. All right, you ready? Yeah. Hi. Hi. We take selfies at the end if you're in like one of the first two rows. You might get a good one. But otherwise, yeah, no, I just came down to say hi. I actually have to be briefed by my producers for today's show. Let me just go and say hi. No, I'm coming back through. A selfie booth. I don't come down here enough. Look, a podium. Where's Norman? He should be here. Hey. Hi. Welcome to the show. So this is how everybody checks in. They come down the ramp. They go through security, and then they sit there. So the, the people that we saw sitting apparently are the people who've already been checked in and vetted. Oh, we vet you. We vet you.
start the day every day like this. The other day, <laughs> the garbage can. Well, that would be perfect. Garbage in the in the picture. A little something from the Angela Dean collection. I've worn this dress before. Sometimes you just want to be warm. When I got in this morning, he had um, a bunch of sleeveless dresses lined up. I don't think I could do sleeveless anymore in this building. Honest to God. Joni's walking around with mittens and a hat. And look, look at you. You have your mouth covered. Who's cold? Suzanne wears scarves. David Perler, my executive producer, comes out here in a bubble jacket. jacket. And, and I'm walking around in a sleeveless dress and flimsy clothes. Flimsy short clothes. <laughs> I, have, I have to say, I, I, my nose is fixing the entire show. Like, just, you know, just, yeah. And I'm trying to keep it cute for TV, but it's just not good. <clears throat> and you wonder why I snort and honk and all that other kind of stuff. First of all, because I'm comfortable in front of you. Second of all, it's cold as ice in here. Tristan is holding the camera with one hand and he's got his hand in his pocket on the other. <laughs> Mike with security. And now, turn around. He's got a sweater, a scarf. What is that on your head? A scarf. Because it's what? Cold. Brendan, look, look at him. A flannel shirt, hands in pocket. Freezing. Reason. And they want me to wear sleeveless? I can't do it. Okay. And it's not because I'm embarrassed about this. I could give a crap. I'm not embarrassed about that. It's just cold. I have to go where it's warm. Please. Please. Look at what Charles is wearing. Charles is wearing a fisherman sweater. Charles turned around model for us and he's got on mugs. Otherwise, yeah. okay, so Super Bowl dance. Katie, right here. Raise your hand and she'll come around, okay? So, Super Bowl people, can you raise your hand really high? This is the new Perfect. style. Perfect. All right, thank yeah. you. So, they're attached to one another? Thank you. Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh, no. Like a onesie. Man! <laughs> Man! With that, with that. Yeah, oh, yeah. yeah. Sequence guy. Yeah. Okay. He's still, he's still, he's still. Let me just show you. What you will never see in the audience at The View or any other talk show ever. This show is so ridiculous and I consider myself the ringmaster. No, I just want you to twirl. Oh, Back oh twirl. Twirl. <laughs> <laughs> and that's how it goes down here at the show. Just ridiculous. It's such a pleasure. Thank you, I love you more. It's such a pleasure coming here every day. Ice Cube put on the Coachella hat. I didn't think he'd do it. He's finally loosened up. He's finally loosened up. He put on the hat. He didn't wear sunglasses. He was nice, Cube. I'm going to see Ride Along too. I like movies. Yeah, I, you know what? I like movies like that. What? It looks funny. Yeah, it does look funny. I am. Um, Is it mine? Oh, I was, just, I was just going into it like it wasn't. Did somebody go? Ooh. Oh, this is good. Mm. Mm. I'm going to put it in my new room. No! No, 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 no. Bye. Have a nice lunch. Th thank you. You're welcome. Nice job. Bye. Bye. <laughs> Tristan, you'll have to come back. Nope. Include this, please. Um, I have a meeting with management upstairs about um, business and people coming in at 11.30. So, what time is it now? 11.07. Oh. oh, I have a moment. Yeah. All right, let's do it. Oh, Willie. I can use those sh shoes for personal life and photo shoot. Okay. They're just too spindly to walk out there. And the one difference in the heel height, honestly, my calves yeah. seized up. Yeah. But they're so fabulous. I was going to wear these white um, Versace shoes. They're white with, um, a, they have a gold heel. And then they have the Versace symbol on the front, and then I have the flats that match. But I just, I couldn't even, I couldn't walk it. I mean, I can walk in them, just not through the double doors. I told you something happens. 
Uh, the here, vertigo. Here's Wendy. Yep, I want to fall down. You saw Patty though. Oh, you didn't see Patty. I saw her. Pat, well, Patty Stanger, my friend. Don't you say one word bad about her, Brendan. I didn't say anything. All right, that's my friend. I know. She's a very big mouth, and she's from Jersey. Best of buddies. Yep. And her mom passed away, and then her dad moved from the condo. But the, all four of them lived in the same, my parents still live there, same condo. And Rhoda and my mom would lay at the pool, and then they'd go wig shopping. Did they know each other in New Jersey, or they didn't meet? No, they didn't meet until the condo. And it's really weird, because both of their daughters were going through brand new TV yeah, celebrity yeah. at the same time. She, yeah, eight years ago, Patty first hit TV. Eight years ago, we first hit TV. So it was like a really, and then we're all from Jersey. Literally. So they were famous at the pool? But, yeah, mom. Rhoda and Shirley. Oh yeah, yeah, they were famous. And they suck it bragging up. Ab bragging about their away. daughters? Yeah, bragging about their daughters. My mother more so than Rhoda. <laughs> yeah. And then Mel, her dad, and my dad would do like guy stuff. It's great. Like awesome. play chess or yeah, shuffle ball. Dominoes. You know what? Like what? What do old people do these days? Shuffleboard. No, they do young stuff. They do. I mean, old people I mean, aren't chess. I, chess, chess yes. Timeless. Yes, chess Midwest. is timeless. <laughs> no, you know what? No, they don't. No, uh, no pinnacle. They don't play cards. Really? They used to play cards growing Bridge? up. Nothing? No. They go to the club. You know what my parents do? Wow. No, no. My parents love a good jazz cruise. Oh, that's nice. Oh, yes. Um, they love, um, um, you know, the big college football games uh -huh. where everybody goes. Wow. Oh, wow. Oh, yes. I thought they just kind of sit around. No, they're involved in their sorority and fraternity. Okay. I told you, they were in Vegas. Yeah, well, I saw that picture. Yeah. Which, by the way, I didn't tell you this part, but my mom was telling me that um, Richard and Tina just look so longing and lovingly with each other. They just walked in to the party and, or, you know, the celebration for them, and they were very nice to everybody, including my mom, by the way. <laughs> and Richard, though, squired her around with the small of her back. Oh, I love yeah. a man. Who, oh, I love a man who does that. That's cute. Yeah, you hold my hand yeah, yeah, and I, I like, let me be a girl. Yeah. I mean, I know how to walk, well. but what's the point in having a man if he's not going <laughs> to, you know, hold the small uh -huh. of your back okay. and tell you you're pretty. What are we doing? That's for Gates, Kevin Gates. Oh, Kevin Gates. Tomorrow. So there's a Tomorrow. good story around Orlando about John Mayer being very jealous now that Orlando Bloom is dating Katy Perry. Do you want to take my fashion picture with me and continue talking so we sure. multitask? So I know you you signed a pop proclamation with a quill pen saying that you'd never talk about them in the same sentence together. Because this is a juicy story, what do you think about making an exception we bring out a, a big stamp that voids your proclamation and you do the story? Void? Are we going to have a sound yeah, effect? Yeah, we can have a sound effect. Okay. Maybe. Okay, we'll present it. You'll have to, yeah, you'll have to sell it to me. Okay. Okay. Well, now um, we're about to take the picture, but you've already done your meeting. So okay, bye-bye. Yeah, you, you You're not want, fashionable that, enough. He so. wanted to be in that picture. Yeah, yeah, I <laughs> he, know. he was lingering. <laughs> he was lingering in the Excuse episode. me, Tristan. What? Boy, oh boy. Do we have to talk? What happened? You look very nice. Thank. I love this dress. Thank you. This is very inexpensive, too. At I first, like your wig, too. Thank you. I like it too. I'm like a school teacher. <laughs> I like Lily. She was nice. I'm friends with all the supermodels. Hmm. No. She's hot here on the model circuit. Yep, she's hot on the model circuit. No, I liked her a lot. She was really normal acting. And, um,. Not a bone. You know what I'm saying, Dan? Oh, I hear you. You know what I mean? I do. People are, have brainwashed us to think that supermodels always have jutting bones. She was a good one. So, Tristan, mm -hmm. I've got a bone to pick with you. Uh-oh, what happened? Well, you know um, that I know that... Thanks, Wendy. I know the other side to your personality. Because we've talked. Remember when you lost the pen? Yes. And you really went ham yeah. on the whole situation. <laughs> That means hard as M. 
F. <laughs> you went ham on the whole situation. So I know that the Tristan who holds the camera that I've known since day one of this entire invention here, the show, and the giggle is so cute. And if you ever saw him in person, you would just say, oh, you know, what a nice young man. But there is another side to Tristan that he already has in him and working here too long has given him extra oomph in his shade. Now, I'm out for dinner with Suzanne. Oh, be careful. And here she goes. I, I go, Suzanne, you know, when are you gonna cut your hair? She goes, oh yeah. She goes, when you tell me to, which she was joking. But I was the one who said, Suzanne, you should let your hair grow out as long as possible and then do something from there. Long or short, what do you like? In the summer, I like it shorter, actually. Is she ready like to cut it? Short. I don't think so. I said, what? I like it. I like it how it is now, but I, I do like it, like, actually that length for the summer. This is a good one? I do, I like it like that. On the beach, it looks cute like that. Yeah. On the tan. I don't care what she does with her hair. I joke with her. I know. You know, I'm a long more than a short. I mean, I wear short, and I wear short wigs. And, and well. Thank you, but but in my mind, um, I'll always be a long. Fair enough. But there's somebody standing right here who says, after 40, long hair is not desirable. Right. And his name is no. Don, 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 yes! You said that? And told your wife. <laughs> and your wife Put told me. Down. Put that camera down. Fight, oh. fight, oh. fight, oh. fight. <laughs> oh. Springer, Springer. He's never. No, Tristan, you Tristan, were so antiquated the love with that over. thought. He's so cracked. All I want to do is take a nap. He's a hugger. No, he's not a hugger. He's a squeezer. First guest ever that lifted me literally off my feet. It's a good hug. Now all I want to do is get on the plane with no cell phone. Five hours, I'll sleep the whole way. All right. Well, these are for the plane. Oh, right? it's better than the spa. I liked him. You yeah, like him? Good. Yeah. Yeah. Learned. And so humble. Yep. Yeah, this really is my have, plane meeting though. You really have two phones? One for the plug and one for the load. <laughs> <laughs> or as he says, one for the plug and one for the hose, depending on where he is and how he feels. Yep. That's pretty smart though, right Chuck? Yeah. Two phones. Yeah. Yeah. One for the plug and... <laughs> I've got a family phone and then the work phone. No, I don't because... Really? What is yeah. going on with my pinky toe? Yeah, you gotta throw these tights out. Well, hello, surprise. <laughs> he he would have had a fit if he knew I did the whole show with a rip in my fishnets and didn't tell the warlock. <laughs> hey, Brendan, you ever hear that song before? Yes, I have. Yeah. You know what? Antoine, he was the nicest guy. Before. Antoine had no idea who Kevin was and I never heard told, the song. You, you, told, you guys talked about him on the other show. No, I know, hey, no, but that was song. before he was booked on our show. Like I was just oh, really? talking. Were, yeah. Oh, oh yeah. Okay. No, oh. Great. Nice guy. Oh yeah. Good guy. Yeah. I got two. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> oh wait. I'm posing for you. I'm posing for him. I don't even want one phone. That's what I'm. Got it. That's what I'm saying. Jeez. Two phones. <laughs> it's a lot of maintenance. I can't. I can't. Have a weekend, Wendy. Thank you, John. You as well. All right. uh, how about this? Hi, Instead John. of two phones, uh -huh. why don't you be more discreet about who gets your telephone number? Exactly. Less contacts. E exactly. I got one phone. <laughs> <laughs> and the only people with the number, Jack, Pete, the bar. Right? Son. And Charles. Suzanne, and Charles. Oh, Char right, right. That's all I need. Bye, Wendy. Thanks a lot. Bye, oh, Dan. Did you tell them? And Mike's yeah. in there. Okay. Of course. Sorry, Mike. I have an announcement to make. Today is Dan's yeah. last day. Not forever. Not last. But you're like, what do you do here normally? I'm usually here for Jeff when he can't make it. Right. So you're a, like a you're like a substitute teacher. Yeah, <laughs> I am. Okay. So I have no respect right. from anyone. Well, <laughs> Joni will be back on Monday, allegedly. Bye. Gas me up a little for him. 
single. Uh, <laughs> straight. 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 That came out quick. I like long walks on the beach. From Manhattan, long walks on the beach. Lives in Jersey. Not not what part. Don't say anything. Don't. Not my address. But I can say the city. Oh sure. Hoboken. Okay. <laughs> do you do you uh, socialize in Hoboken? To a degree. Do you go to it's like? It's a young town. Yes, very young. A little older. Yeah. Do you like young girls? Yeah, well, sure. We'll get out yeah. there and have some fun. Okay, thank you, Wendy. You're welcome. <laughs> he really has to practice his after show etiquette. He's very revealing. What is it about him? I don't know. He's likable, very revealing. Revealing? I wouldn't give that much. Exactly. Like Marilyn, who's the other lady who always fills in for Joni when Joni's not here. I have no idea where Marilyn is. I know nothing about Marilyn. Nothing. 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 I don't even know her last name. No, me neither. Whoops, Dan's... No, I, don't say it. Yeah, I'm not going. Yeah. I'm not going to do that guy. He's really revealing. Well, good for him. Hopefully you find love. The after show brings many people together. Something tells me that he should have probably given his Facebook or something. No. Well, I think he was... I think he was fishing for what? a partner. Well, Tristan, why don't you post it? <laughs> <laughs> Tristan's busy being shady behind his camera. <clears throat> All right, now look, I gotta get to the airport immediately. Oh gosh, all right, so I have to wipe my makeup off. You shouldn't fly with a whole bunch of makeup on your face. That's how you get the pimples. So, I'm gonna wipe my makeup off, take off my eyelashes, put on my airport clothes, and hit it! It's the best. I'm so happy, you know why? Our secret. Because it's Friday and I'm ready to go home, that's why. No matter what job you have, even if it's the greatest job in the world or you're digging ditches for a living, everybody loves a Friday. You know what I'm doing? Uh, as soon as the show's over, I'm going to consult with Memsor, who's standing right here. I'm going to pull up the laptop there. Thank you. They, they, you know what? All that stuff on the runway, I want that Target outfit with that. It's, I can't wear that, unfortunately, on the show, but I can definitely wear it strutting around the streets. I can wear it on dates. We already got you some Peter Panetta stuff, thing. but we, wanted, we didn't get you that stuff. But I'll go pull it up now, and you just point, and then I'll order. Yeah. Right. I, I don't want to make a, a whole uh, trend out of getting that, that waist no, stuff. But but if I can have one in black, not, not Peter Paletto, but like, you know, a black, a solid black. Crop to him. With my great beige skin in between. And then the skirt, black, and everything fit. I did that with the ring. Man. Sorry. My, my <laughs> ring caught and I made a knot. All right, let's get this. Um, also, I like that Moda jacket. It's under $39 at Forever 21. Okay. I like the um, I like the pleated skirt, but I think that it might be too billowy for my taste. Or the pleated, yeah, pleated yeah, dress. It's not tight. It's yeah, right. <laughs> if it ain't tight, it ain't right. Well, that's my little <laughs> that's what she said. Wait, hold on. I'm gonna post like Jessica Simpson. Pull, pull, pull back the loose material. Pose like this. <laughs> All right, let me go stop pulling that. See you in a sec. Don't you say one word about my upper arms. It's about to be upper arm season, and I'll be happy. Nice you guys so much, on. Thank you. Yeah. 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 What are you doing this weekend, Joni? Anything big? Not really. I don't have any plans. Me neither. A toothache. I was listening to Curtis Sliwa. I listen to Kubi and um, Kirby, Curtis and Kubi on the radio um, in the afternoons. I like them a lot. And uh, he was saying that he had a toothache the other day, and it got me to thinking, why don't you just put some Ambisol on it? Why would you let a toothache ruin your life? It just started. And you don't have Ambisol here? Yeah, I have it inside. Inside where? Inside my office. Up the ladder? No, 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 no. Oh, your other office. Gotta pull this. <laughs> up the ladder. <sighs> yeah, I love that people style watch magazine. Huh? Yeah, I gotta tell you, I do. I know my hands are cold, I'm sorry. No, it doesn't matter. You know my pet peeve? Dresses that don't have a zipper in the back. And Memsor will tell you, I. Okay, I'm good, thank you. Out of all the dresses in my wardrobe, thanks Johnny, have a good weekend. You too. Out of all the dresses in my wardrobe, uh, and very, very honest with you, only 3% of them don't have zippers up the back. 
Bye. Because even when I like the dress and I try it on one time, if if it's a keeper, because maybe you know we paid a lot for it before I even wear it, my protest is you've got to take this to the seamstress and get her to put a zipper up the back. I don't like it, and not just a zipper this big. I'm talking about a zipper that goes down to here. I like to step in. I don't like to pull stuff over my head. It's not that I'm claustrophobic, but maybe that is a bit claustrophobic, pulling a dress over your head. This one right here, it only has a little tiny zipping area, uh, you know, little tiny this, you know, but the dress was so cute that I said, I want to wear it. <sighs> I feel like, do you have any scissors? Not on me. I will cut myself out of this dress. <laughs> I swear I don't feel like pulling it over. Have a great weekend, oh, boss. Wig. Stop it. Wig. Oh, you, oh, you took the pizza? Yeah, I did. Here. Thank you, boss. Wait, Wait. hold on. Bye, Brendan. Have a lovely Thank weekend. Thank you, Joel, and you too. Uh -huh. What are you eat? What are you eating? Anything good? I'm going out for uh, martinis and oysters. Right after you this. You eat too many oysters. No, Sorry. no, not too many. Can I meet you there? Sure, if you like. Komomotos, West Coast, are good. They're small, plump, briny, <laughs> extra horseradish, and two big kettle one martinis. We should bring it home. With a twist. Mm. Uh, no kids. With my wife, we're going on a date. I love a martini with seven olives. By the way, a girl in the audience uh, yesterday's show for Ask Wendy, did you hear her talk about the lychee martini? No. Do you like lychee fruit? I don't think Ooh, I've ever. Honey. Yeah, I mean, I do, but. Look. Is it flavored or do you put the lychee in it? The lychee's delicious. Memsor, do you remember we had that photo shoot? Bye, Brad. Good morning, everyone. Thanks so much. Bob Stanley has got the talking all show off. He's back there. He's in his city. Let's see how much you need to buy. I could have gone with the 26, but the smallest one you got was a 28. Dr. Ian told me I don't need to lose a pound. He said, Wendy, you don't need to read the book. You don't need to lose another pound. All my life I wanted to hear that. Now it's time to eat and untuck everything. Come on, take the picture. Wait, let me pose well. I don't smile. know how to pose. Why? Why well, don't I always have to smile? Yes, I, like, I prefer the smile. So what? <laughs> this is how I wear the wig in real life. He wouldn't let me wear it like this, but I wear it a little messier. I'm taking it back home, by the way. I just brought it into play with it. Problem with... Um, There we go. Now, you know. um, work you, it, Skinny. Yeah, you know, I, I have, um, come on, encourage me, go. Work it, Skinny. <laughs> come on, work it. Oh my, who's that girl? Who's 50, the new girl on campus? <laughs> 50 years and I still can't walk. <laughs> Listen, you know, you know, I got my 40 inch legs, so you know that this is two pair of jeans. You know my trick that I do with the jeans. You have to buy two, it becomes an expensive proposition, but you, two pair of jeans, and you have to cut the bottom off one pair and um, attach the bottom so that to make them long enough for me because uh, I'm tired of wearing young jeans that expose my ankles all the time. And then you ask, what did I do with the other pair? Capris. No, <laughs> gave them to Morel. He's already cut them off his poom poom shorts. Oh gosh. <laughs> 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 Recycling, re gifting. Joni, thank you for your cooperation regarding this necklace. It, it was it. It you're sparkling. Gonna, you're going to have a little piece of. You're gonna, uh, no, I have a now? piece of tape. Yep, she put oh, a piece of tape, and it did sparkle only during Hot Topics. When Hot Topics was over, Memsor came out with some anti shine gotcha. and put it on there. <laughs> it was sparkling like real diamonds. Yeah. Because it is real diamonds. I'm the luckiest girl in the world. Watch it though. <laughs> Uh, imagine if these were real diamonds. Still wouldn't have moved. Still, she would have still put her tacky tape on the back. That's right. The girl's best friend is tacky tape. Mm -hmm. Bye, Joni. Bye. See you tomorrow. Um, anyway, and then Victoria's Secret. A cheap and cheerful Victoria's Secret shirt. Oh, I didn't show you my shoes. Oh, let me let me show. I, I love the way I love the way Memsor coordinated this this outfit. This is what he did. You know these jeans are have what do you brocade. call it brocade? That's velvet. They're textured it's velvet. It's a burnout type. A burnout type. And then look what he did. He coordinated them with Manola Blonix with the same Lace. type of cutout. But it's, oh but it's amazing that these shoes and the pants, it's like they were meant to go together. It's meant to be. It really, they really are Willie. 
boss. Thank you. Great job. Thank you, uh, Safe home. Brendan. Mm -hmm. You too. It's sweet. To give Mem stories close up, today is fashion day. No, he said tomorrow. Oh, perfect. So we have asked Wendy. Oh, wow. All right. Well, Tristan, I must say. You feeling okay? Why? Yes, no, please. I mean, you know, it takes me a moment to get over a cold. I'm going to tell you why. I don't like to take a whole bunch of cold medicine. It makes me tired. And I never have time to be tired. And by the time I get in the bed at night, like 9 or 10 o'clock, I always say, damn, if it's going to last for eight hours, I'm going to wake up tired. <laughs> so I don't want to take any medicine. So I end up drinking tea. Like I'm ho totally homeopathic, which is not the right thing to do. And probably when I first felt a cold, I should have taken Zycam or something, but I don't want to be tired. You understand the whole tired thing? Why well, I sound a little nasally, right? Uh, excuse me, I'm also sleeveless. It's freezing in here. Brendan? It's cold today, and I'm Very never cold. cold. It's really cold. It's like freezing in here. The stress was a little pricey though. Over 200 bucks. So somebody told me that um, during the weekend, Memsor went to went to um, Brendan and Suzanne's house for dinner, and their kids, Jack and Pete, were there. It was a full family thing, and Memsor just shows up, but doesn't just show up. Memsor apparently was throwing some back around the corner from here with Brendan. And then when it was time to go, Memsor was like, I don't feel like going, look, Memsor was like, um, I'm not ready to go home and I'm hungry. And so he was about to go back to his place and then Brendan says, well, come over. And so Memsor went to Brendan's house for dinner this weekend. Wow, I'm waiting for my invite. <clears throat> Yeah, what the hell? I never got an invite. <laughs> you gotta meet Thanks, at the Brandon. bar. I don't invite people unless I have a couple Thanks, invites. Brandon. <laughs> yeah. Brendan was fully loaded. Now, when you showed up with a guest, even uh -huh. though a guest is not Mem's family, right? Did she spaz out? Like, why'd you bring somebody no, over? She, I haven't vacuumed. No, she was with us. Suzanne met us at the train. Oh. So we went home together. The Our three... nanny was a little thrown back. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. So, no, it was it, good. It was so it was just you. And Suzanne. Memsor. Memsor. Nanny went home. And the boys. And Jack and Pete. We put him to work. He was hanging posters in the boys' room. Babysitting the boys. It's good. See? It was fun. Random. The, the it's good. But you know what? The bigger picture is here at the Wendy Show. We are the world. No, I wasn't thinking that. <laughs> We're but, that too. But, but, but we are the world. No, <laughs> he means the black and white thing. <laughs> but I was thinking that here at the Wendy Show, it doesn't stop just because we go home. No, it like, didn't stop. Like, who's your favorite FaceTime person in the whole world? <sighs> Big guy right here. I know we got Mr. Him. Chandler. <laughs> Charles Chandler. Royal. It is very royal. But then FaceTime is like, yeah, what's up? <laughs> <laughs> is that how he talks on FaceTime? No, no, I'm just kidding. What's up? What's up? What's up? <laughs> That's what I love about our show. You know what I Me mean? Too. It was awesome. Like Random be, and awesome. But Fun. Be, beyond the we walls. All, yep. and, and we didn't talk about work, we just hung out and had yeah. a good time. It was good. <laughs> Goodbye. Goodbye. That's what I'm saying. Now I happen to have texted Wig this weekend. I forgot what I texted him about. Oh! Mm -hmm. See, even though the show ends, we all still, I was just talking about Memsor and Brendan, mm -hmm. and I text you this weekend because I told you that I was um, dyeing my natural hair. Yes, 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 covering the grays. Right, covering, I have a few grays, I'm 51, mm -hmm. just a very few, a very really? few, very few. But I, I dyed my natural hair, and I dyed my eyebrows for um, makeup, mm -hmm. and, and I let him know that. And that, and then he texted me back that he was looking for a hair washing chair because our old one broke. And whether you know this or not, every once in a while, Antoine does wash my hair in the glamour suite. In we have a, a sink in there. Yeah, it's a salon. With the basically. with the dig out. Look, I'll show you. Of course, I've been abandoned. Jai's gone. But look, it's under here. And so every once in a while. When I feel like, you know, maybe not rushing back to Jersey. It's nice to get your scalp rubbed. 
without knowing that somebody's going to take a camera phone picture of you once you fall asleep in the chair. Oh, I would never do that, <laughs> Wendy. I promise you. <laughs> anyway, I say all that to say here at the Wendy Show, you know. What? Tristan, here at the Wendy Show. Come on. It doesn't stop at the 11. Yeah. It, it doesn't. Oh, I, oh, yeah. You don't understand. When I wake up, even before we leave the house, I got 25,000 things. I already told you, I wake our house up. So if, if I oversleep, then everyone oversleeps. Although the boy is pretty responsible regarding setting his telephone, but I just get nervous, you know? Um, then I make his lunch. Make sure that, you know, the dog's chicken is thawed out properly. Like so many things. Before even leaving to come to the studio. And like I feel like I worked a full job. And then I get here, and even though it's only a one hour show, and we're live so there's no do-overs and all that other kind of stuff, I just always feel like this. Why, 11 o'clock. Can I take out the pin from your shirt? And believe me when I tell you. Oh, you pinned it? You mm -hmm. didn't um, sew it? I did sew it. I did pin just in case it's live TV. <laughs> but my sewing stayed. Ew. It's sewing, sewing stayed. Ew. Nice cashmere sweater. And I love this skirt. You know, it reminds me of Frankenstein. <laughs> Doesn't it? Doesn't it? <laughs> it does. It does. It's, uh, so I call it the Frankenstein skirt. Does it glow in the dark, Wendy? It's adorable. No, it doesn't glow, glow in the dark, but it should, shouldn't it? it? It looks like you might. Maybe it does. Let's, Let's go someplace dark. <laughs> wait a minute it now. Like it does. Now, it now, does. now, wait a minute now. Let's see. Wait. This might yeah, glow. Yeah. Come on, Tristan. Let's see if it glows. Hang on, Come on, Brandon. It might glow. Mm. No, no, not so much. Not so much. Just a little bit of light on You glow. Cause... You know yeah, what? That's right. Um, first of all, Santa Claus, yeah. uh, we have not acknowledged a lot. <laughs> We've only been back for four days, but um, I love it. Thank you. And I'm not, right? even, I'm not even a beard. Thank you. But thank I, you. I, My I love it. My wife loves it, too. Does she? I like it, too. I, I don't know. I'm enjoying it. Yeah, and I, had, I don't have to trim it or anything. This is all just natural. I haven't done anything to it. How old are you? <clears throat> 18. <laughs> no, I, I'll, I'll be 44 in two weeks. Oh, he's a baby. In two you? weeks? Yep. Want to come over? <laughs> Hang out in the garage? <laughs> <laughs> I like it though, Brendan. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. So you're going to let it grow, gonna, including going, your birthday? No, I'm going to let it grow maybe till Easter. We're going to Jamaica. Okay. And I'm going to want to shave for, you know, get some sun. Yes, on your face. Yeah. But yeah, I, because if you shave after that, then you'll be all white oh, down here. Oh, I'll look like I, <laughs> look like I never shaved. Um, Thank you, I appreciate it. You know what? Okay, so we're going to keep I'll encouraging you. Yeah. Let's encourage him. And by the way, Tristan, yeah, why is that people are turning on you as much as they turn on me? What happened? I didn't see. People are calling you shady. How come? I I have no idea. I was like, what did he do that was shady? People said some not so nice things. Well, I thought you always read the. I haven't. I haven't. We start Pilates next week. Who? When you say we, Charles. Me, Charles. What? Jason Gable and Jai. Where? In town? Down the block. I mean, really? he has to come with me, so he might as well do something, not just in I the lobby. I think that'd be good for It's a good for the New Year's, you know? Pilates keeps you young. I am young. It'll keep you young. <laughs> Charles is really young. I asked him the other day how old he wanted to be. Charles and I are the same age. Do you know how old he is? parents. I know, it's crazy. Parents. Charles, he's a big, he's only like 30, 30, 30. Handsome man. We could be his parents, though. <laughs> oh my God. Little Charles. <laughs> <laughs> Let's put him in the front of the basket and go to the grocery store. <laughs> his legs dangling out. You'd have to bust the middle piece out. Yay, Charles. <laughs> oh, Charles. Your burgers are on your table there. The burgers were so good. The salad was good. The salad was really good, but I eat salad all the time. Yeah, yeah, oh, I get it. Those yeah. burgers, and I'm going to go to Wendy's. I'll talk to my friends on the after show. Oh, okay. How you doing? Thank you for your service. And if you ever have to take some pictures, leave your seats and all you need to do is get on social media. Yeah. Make sure you follow us on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. Yeah. Yeah. And if you have to go to the bathroom, you can go to the bathroom.
Oh, the microphone? I'm oh, sorry. Drew Carey's talking loud. Ro was on it. Look, the show just ended. I said to her in the middle of the show, as soon as I saw this hat sitting out there, I was like, okay, is that from the prop department here at the show or can I actually take it home? Um, don't you love this? Isn't this just the height of glamour and sophistication? I love it. It actually doesn't look bad with this hair and this lipstick. And, and, and by the way, yeah, I said it on Hot Topics. You know what I said, Tristan, because only you know and I know, and Jessica knows exactly how people are. What am I addressing, Tristan? The uh, being too skinny. Yep. And? Your skin. Bleaching my skin. Aiden, this is something we go through in the brown community. It's unfortunate. I'm very embarrassed. Sorry. I'm very embarrassed. It's very, it's very, I missed you also, uh, Tristan. Thank you. I text you though, yep. some activities. What did I text you I was doing? Riding around in your car, your photo, a few other things that we didn't post. Yeah. I even post, I even um, showed you the Muhammad Ali. And then after sleeping on it, I said, you know what? It's a real story. So I'll share it. But back to the bleaching. <laughs> back to the situation at hand. Really? Do you follow me on um, what you quick kids call the gram? The gram. Yes, I do. <laughs> Did you see a picture show up with me in a... Um, in a... Yes, a turban, a turban. And you had your New Jersey necklace. Yes, yes that's right. And that little wrap thing. Yes. People were like, <laughs> like, like eighty percent of people. But don't they know good lighting when they see it? No. no. <laughs> I mean, that was good lighting, but you know, I don't do any of that airbrush filtering stuff. That, that was really me. I know. I know what your skin looks like. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't. I don't think it was good lighting. It was just regular. It's just you. A nice picture. You have really good skin. Like Jack can confirm. Like it's like you have naturally. No, good skin. but that's not what they were saying. Oh, I don't know what they say because I don't listen to that. Oh, okay. Oh, wow. <laughs> that's it. Uh, Willie out. Well, um, you just said I was too thin, and I beg to differ. Uh, there must be a handful of you all out there that maybe could drop a couple of lbs yourself, so you're mad. <laughs> <laughs> and maybe you want to bleach your skin and maybe that's why you talk about me maybe you're the bleacher maybe you want to be uh, I don't know somebody new Mike how long have you known me do I look like I bleach like like from when you first met me and I was I was well, no, he's known me since. He's known you since back in the day? Oh, please. <laughs> back in the da 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 day. God. And you know what? It doesn't hurt my feelings. I'm hurt for you who say things like that. Like, why do you talk like that? Why do you, why do you talk like that? There's some people who could lose a couple of pounds. I gotta lose some. You look fine. I've known you with a bigger belly. Yeah. Well, <laughs> I mean, co confidentially speaking. Jackie, I saw that. I saw what? You flipped your head around you trying to get your hair in your face. <laughs> yes, you did. She, look, she was looking this way. She goes. <laughs> Do you want to talk about stuff now or you want me to come back? Oh, yeah. No, I want you to come back. Okay. It's not a lot of stuff. It's just, you know, specific stuff. Sure. So, Doug, my floor manager, is out today. So, Brendan was doing Doug's role. And then here's Eden. Hello. Eden, you might be a lot of things, but you never delivered your own baby. So, therefore, <laughs> very true. you are... That's, and um, we're all feeling very... We all are at yes. that lower level. Both of you guys are low-lying fruit on the totem pole. <laughs> Absolutely. I'm telling you... And he came to work today. Yeah. How dare him? I know. <laughs> Look, okay, so... I almost hit him with this camera. Yeah. Um, what's his title, Eden? He's production coordinator. Okay. The point is, is that Patrick 
right? Patrick delivered his own baby with his wife in the bathroom. At their home. At their home. Which, by the way, he told you or Brendan that he needs a whole new bathroom situation now. Brendan. Oh, he told That's Brendan that. Yeah, makes sense. <laughs> I mean, yeah. <laughs> I was like, oh my gosh, I hope he has leather furniture so then you could at least put some fantastic on that or something like that. Yeah, just a little cleanser. Just a little cleanser. <laughs> barkeeper's friend. Right. Come right out. Barkeeper's friend. I love barkeeper's friend. Oh my gosh. Me too. Yes. Yes. <laughs> so, so Eden, who's normally in the control room, doing script yep. supervising, mm -hmm. was doing Brendan's job, which is why he's standing here right now. Mm -hmm. And Patrick, who... We we give uh, maternity or pater we we give right. leave here leave. on on the Wendy show. Oh yep. yes, we. Tristan and I have both taken it. Two weeks. Yes, yeah. two weeks. That's nice. Yeah, you, nice. you don't need nice. any more than that. You're not the mothers. Nope. I think that there are a lot of places who don't give any leave yeah. for for dads. We uh, the country falls behind in all of that, unfortunately. <laughs> it does. But we we're very thankful for the two weeks. We so in the meantime. Thankful. The one person who really needs it, because you guys both made it to the hospital and the doctor did all the work along with your wife. Yes. The one person who really lead, needs this two weeks is Patrick. Is Patrick. Been, yeah. He hasn't slept since Friday yeah. morning. Hopefully he'll take tomorrow off. Yes. Maybe we'll convince him. I was shocked when I got out of the car this morning. Patrick's here. I'm like, what am I seeing? He's going home at three. I hugged okay, him tight. Good. Yeah. You I know, mean, like he, that's a great, that's, a great that's story. A, yeah. Not many people. They got everything, well, you know. Everything would turn out all right. Yeah. Yep. Yep. Not many people get that uh, opportunity. No. If you want to call it. <laughs> this is his first kid, too. So. Out you all, okay? I don't mean to talk loud at you, but when you catch me and I come right off the. F uh oh. <laughs> We're coming to get you. Uh huh. So I have 10 minutes. Yep, you have a whole time. We're just early. Okay. We have exactly Like white minutes. people are. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Exactly. exactly. Suzanne, yeah. would you like to come along over here and be on the after show for just a moment? Yeah, I'd love to. Okay. So how was your weekend? <laughs> it was good. We went to the Bronx Zoo. And what'd you see? Uh, we saw giraffes and Smell, tigers. Right? The giraffes stink. Yeah, the whole place stinks. Pete the entire time was like, it stinks, it smells bad, what's that smell? He's got like a sensitive nose or something, I don't know. We saw all the animals, it was really nice. People say things about you on the after show. They do? Well, a lot of people absolutely love you and they think that you're perfect. Oh, great, thank you. And like the light yeah. of their morning. Thank you. Uh, but there are a lot of people who hate your voice. Oh my gosh, okay. Your vocal quality. Yes. You know, like like you've got two deep. things reverberating. Yes, back. Ah! I've had it checked out many times. You have? And it's fine. Yeah, every doctor I go to is like, "There's something really wrong with you." Oh my gosh, you guys are onto yes. something. Yes, yes, very wrong. And they all look down and check, and everything's fine. And everything is fine. Mm -hmm. It's just my voice. Yeah, I don't have I, I don't have any like nodules because they're like, you're you're not you got nodules growing. There's something really wrong. And and then they look and they're like, it's fine. Two hundred people in the audience and they always can pick you out. Oh yeah, with my voice. Yeah. yeah, I sound like a smoker. You know, back in the day when I was in college, uh huh, I'd go walk up to the bar. I'd be like, I'd like a whiskey sour, and like five guys would turn because back then I guess they thought it was sexy when yeah. they were 18 they'd be like can I get that whiskey sour for you no a deep it voice is sexy it worked in my favor even now you girls who talk with that stupid girly uh -huh. vocal fry yeah men don't like that yeah, they don't do like they that. Chuck mm -hmm. no I don't like that Chuck Chuck mm -mm. I'm saying did Chuck FaceTime with Brendan this weekend no oh. we no not this weekend no. mm -mm. we didn't have any time he texted me Oh, text. Uh, he doesn't always to... pick up when we when we FaceTime him. Chuck's been to the house, though, right? No, okay. Chuck hasn't been to our house you yet. You haven't? But he's no. invited. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm Beat Jack want him to come by. He, they want to go to the movie. They told me the other day they were going to the movies with him. Yeah. They, I came home when they said, oh, we're going to the movies with Big Charles this weekend. I said, excuse me? And he said, yeah, well, Daddy's going, too. So the four of them are going, but it didn't happen yet, but it's happening. Oh, uh, yes. Uh-huh. All right, look, okay. uh, just give me a moment. Okay, Can I just you. please just change into my yes. street clothes? Yes, Get Be comfortable. <clears throat> Bye. Bye. All right, I got five minutes. Thank you, Suzanne. You're welcome. Uh, thank you, Chuck. No problem. Uh, thank you, After Show family, for understanding the inners going on. Just say it like you mean it. You always do. But you know what? When I find out what you've said, because Jessica will call me in the middle of the weekend or text me with what I need to address, I will address. Happy Mother's Day, John. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
Oh my gosh, Suzanne's oh, look, wait. in your area. Wait, no, no, oh. hold on. Okay. Suzanne yes. is on the after show. Oh, hi. How are you doing? Don't take my thunder. And, and <laughs> oh, Wendy's going to get real jealous. <laughs> and she's really? got on a Wendy skirt, too. Yes. But this was just coincidental. Neither yep. neither one of our outfits are available anymore. Yep. This is part of sold out. Yep, thing, sold but, out. Yeah, but uh, no, oh. don't go anywhere. Okay. Oh my gosh, David, you're here too. What is going on? Why are you guys recording? I'm just returning my headset. <laughs> oh, well, no, because Suzanne's never here and I had something to tell her. Oh, well, she's wearing your skirt. I know. Well, this is coincidental. Yeah. This is what I wanted Suzanne to do as just the social experiment in race relations. Oh. Remember we talked about this yesterday on the after show? Yes. I want Suzanne oh, to read the Ebony magazine oh, yes. on the subway. Yep, yep. Nice white lady, go, yep. nice Jewish white lady Jewish going, right, going right, back right. to Queens. Mm -hmm. And I'm gonna hide behind it. Yep. And then I'm gonna slowly pull it down. And see uh -huh. what, whether people are like, oh, uh -huh. or what's she doing reading mm -hmm. that? Mm -hmm. I'm gonna get right on that. Yeah, put on sunglasses just in we case should get, somebody. We should get her those glasses that have a hidden camera right yeah. here. Yeah, you know? <laughs> so she can do a social yeah. <laughs> Or, yeah. All right. All right, well, welcome to the after show. There's one rule, and Tristan will agree. Uh -oh. Don't read the comments. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, your, your feelings, will get, they've hurt your feelings, Joni. Uh -huh. They don't hurt my feelings. Well, they've tried to. They try, but they don't. Okay. They don't, they don't, they don't hurt mine Johnny. either. Tris, because oh, no, wait, we've been doing this too long. Yeah. Happy Mother's Goodbye. Day. Happy Mother's Day, Bye. Suzanne. Don't forget, please bring an Ebony magazine. I want to find out on Monday what happened. No, really. Okay, I will. This is not a joke. Okay, I will. Please. I will. Thank you. I'm going to. Okay, you're welcome. Bye. Bye. Okay. A mess. It's on our wait, table. Uh, uh, <laughs> No, but that's, it, I know it's on the dining room yeah. table, and I know you have a black person in a picture at your, at your house. Can I read it on the train, too? I, you know what? That's even better. <laughs> a straight white male oh, reading white Ebony guy. Magazine. He'd be spotted before he got to the third story. Yeah, everybody, every, but people know you. Silver Fox. Yeah, the Silver Fox. <laughs> uh, <all right. laughs> Bye, Perler. Happy Mother's Day. <laughs> he's not a mother, but he's a mother. <laughs> <laughs> Ew. Bye everybody. Enjoy your gifts. I'll tell you what. You know what you know what the funny thing is? I mean, you know when I, you, when you live in Jersey or you live in the suburbs, you take it for granted that you're driving in a car so you can just, you know, put your pots and pans and computers and everything in the car and go. But for people who have to oh. take the subway, they're Penn like, station is oh like 10 minutes is going to be a trip. And uh, you know, it's not like the stuff they're carrying is being carried right. in like a canvas bag. They gotta carry very careful in their bags or maybe the handles will break. There'll be computer parts all over awesome. the sidewalk. Happy Mother's Day. <laughs> nice job this week. It was really funny. Yeah. Honest to God. Please don't be mad at me. I love you for watching today. Tell Suzanne don't read the comments. She's gonna read the comments. <laughs> I even read them once. What are we gonna do? What are we talking about? Yeah. Hiya, John. Hi, Wendy. John, when I watched the show back, I was Thanks, so John. glad that they caught you flying kite. Suzanne's kite. <laughs> Excuse me? <laughs> I know, that, that did sound crazy. <laughs> oh, Brendan, what a piece of work you've got there. That is my girl. I love the ghetto ripper. Kind of. Kind of. You know what I mean? Is it, isn't she kind of like a Kelly Kelly Ripper esque? Yes. Yeah, but in like she doesn't have to talk, so she doesn't have to be so. Right. You know. Yes. Whatever it is, yes, like yes. buttoned up. Like yes. Suzanne is free to be exactly who she yeah, is. She told she me is. on TV, I wasn't born in 69. Yeah, I, wasn't born <laughs> I love it. I love it. I love her. I love your wife. Thank you. Me too. I mean, I love you too. Oh, thanks. But I love your wife okay. more. <laughs> Get her mushy. Girl power. <laughs> Fair enough. She's the best. Yep. Suzanne and I could have been friends in sixth grade. She wouldn't have called me fat, so. We could have been friends in college. Then she would have met you, and then all of us would have been and friends. Then all of us would have been friends. Oh, please, please. I, we probably wouldn't be here right now for your friends. <laughs> Hello. We'd be in the Rathskeller every, every day after class. You know the Rathskeller, uh -huh. okay? We'd be in the Rathskeller every day, just having a good time. Oh, I love these new Wendy mugs. Are you guys serious with this? These are so good. They were my invention. Yep. Because... 
I like a nice thumb placement. Look, you place your thumb right here. You hold on to your cum cup snugly. I hate when companies make cups and they put the logo only on one side. I need two side logo. Shout out to all the lefties. You all are weird, but. I'm a lefty. Okay, well, yeah, exactly. Point really? <laughs> really? <laughs> um, but no, I am very particular about my company mugs, like my logo mugs. Put a logo on both sides and put the dent to hold it nicely. And then put the lipstick there already. And it's so, this is my little invention two sided logo, an indenture, and a lipstick. You can get yours at wendyshow.com. If I like to talk show, I wouldn't mind getting these for Christmas. I'm just saying. <laughs> Kiki Wyatt sure was nice. Very nice. Oh, these are at wendyshow.com too. If you know somebody who loves the show, the how you do a diva fan is perfect. Let me stop. Tristan, people think I'm always trying to hawk something on our site, which is not, it. it's not the case. If I like something, I just say it. And if I don't, I ignore it. <laughs> now you take that. <laughs> Tristan, get out of my head. <laughs> oh, Tristan. Oh, Marco. Hey, Wendy. People asked the other day, who's the man in the hat? <laughs> and I'm just like, they must be new to our show. This is Marco Glorious. What is good? <laughs> Marco, um, every superhero needs a theme man. <laughs> you know what I mean? No, every, every show needs a, a good hype man. And I go to a lot of um, talk shows. And I must say, We've got the best thing going. Oh, wow, thank you. The music, the atmosphere, you know. Marky, you're not all of it. <laughs> Don't kick ass. But no, you are definitely a part of it. You've been to other shows. Have you ever spied on other shows? I have. Well, I can tell you this, okay. The music is whack. <laughs> Usually the warm-up men, um, they do that thing, look under seat number five and pull it out and you're gonna win a blow dryer. Right. In the meantime, you're like, look to the person on your left and rub your booty. You know what I mean? He rub booties okay. over here. <laughs> he, he bounces his boobs, we rub booties, we hug people we don't know. Yeah, absolutely. Which always makes me cry. Yeah, it's a little warm and fuzzy inside of you. <laughs> yeah. He but. asks, who's been drinking? Half the audience raises their hand. <laughs> <laughs> and the crew. And the <laughs> <laughs> you it's know, a family. It's fun. It, like, it is fun. It's not easy though to um, be extra charged every day. <laughs> yeah, you gotta be borderline crazy, <laughs> schizophrenic. But nah, I mean, I'm just. You got. You have to have the tick. Look, I'm, you have it. I definitely. Yeah, I, I'm, I got it. Kiki, <laughs> Kiki's got it. I liked her. <laughs> right? Yeah, she was cool. We'll see you this afternoon. We went to Macy's yesterday because I had to get some things and I hadn't been to Macy's in Herald Square in, in years. easily 10 years. In Herald Square. Ooh. Like, I, I've been to the Macy's at the Short Hills Mall, no, you know, in one. New Jersey. Oh, did you get a panic attack in there? I did! As soon as we got in there, it was me, Mike, and Chuck. I, I immediately, I we get on the wooden escalator because it's the old school Macy's. This is the Macy's, like, like not all Macy's have like a Louis Vuitton boutique and a Gucci boutique. The Macy's in Herald Square is truly the, the Macy's. The Macy's. The other ones are, eh, you might have a May and you might have a C. Yeah, they don't have bars. Right. Bars, <laughs> restaurants, downstairs, it's a whole scene. Awesome. But there's so many people. When we walked in here, Chuck, the first, one of the first things I said is, oh my gosh, my heart is beating really fast. Crazy. Between the traffic. Uh -huh. And the holidays. And the holidays. Oh, are they decorated? Yes! Yeah. We walk in, the holiday decorations are up, the Christmas music is playing, it's Brendan. Too early. It's like one o'clock in the afternoon, we just came from the Chew. Fabulous visit, it plays on Thursday. Wednesday. Wednesday. So I took all of my makeup and, you know, like my talk show Wendy stuff off in the dressing right. room too. And I put incognito on, when you got to Herald Square. Well, no longer incognito because now I presented that look last week on our show when I was late. Okay. Gotcha. You know, my leggings and, uh -huh, you know, uh -huh, my messy uh -huh. <laughs> street wig. My street I look. I like that, by the way. Thank you. Welcome. So me and the guys, we go to Macy's and we go in there and we get on the wooden escalator. Oh God, just the revolving door going in. Oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. Inside. Oh my God, there were so many people and I was just like, oh. 
so we get up to the bedding area and I'm looking for a piece of bedding okay. for a particular room okay. and you know you try to freshen up for the holidays to make everything sure. nice because yep. it's going to yep. be a cold yep. winter and you want your home to be lovely. The salesman who approached to actually do the sale, uh -huh. a little white guy, might have been 25 years old, correct Chuck? Very young. Very young. His face turned really red and his hands, clam you? His hands were wet. And it was like nothing else. He couldn't even. He he couldn't gather. I felt. Uh, yeah. I felt like Diana Ross. I'm not lying to you. He <laughs> just moved here from North Carolina. He must have been stoked. Watched our show all the time there. Wow. Was a he's a Wendy watcher and had only been working at Macy's for five days. So now Hit here the I am. Lottery. <laughs> he Hit the lottery. He'll be at our show. I gave him Stop. tickets for the show. So when he, him out? But yeah, yeah. Okay, I, let he's, me know. He's gonna be in touch with Jackie, and he only has one friend in New York. Cause I said, don't bring all your friends. I said you can bring one or two of your friends. Do you have any friends here in New York? He says, I just have one. One I was plus like, one. Oh, well, we all only have one friend. Yeah, yeah, kind of. Yeah. Other than Suzanne, everyone else will throw you under the bus. <laughs> I, I've got one, one best friend. Other than the only. Who'd you rather, him or her? Uh, him. No, just kidding. My old lady. <laughs> Old I lady. Love, I love my old lady. She's older than me. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so he made the he made sale. His, his, he'll never forget living in New York. He was clammy and shaking. Oh, and when I tell you, no, it was the perfect. I had never in all of my, I mean, I've had people cry, but it was just a just quick like moment. Cherry and like. But he was trying to hold it together because yes. he's new uh -huh. and everybody else is like all these people who were like, you know, how you doing? How you doing? Right, right. Or his, his co-workers, right, right. they didn't come in for working sale. 30 years. 30 years yeah, they're right. working here. here this kid comes in for the sale. So now I'm ignoring everybody else but this kid because you got the guts. Eyes on the prize. We were there for about 45 minutes, right, Chuck? Yep. Oh, I'm laying on beds. I'm rolling around. <laughs> on oh, I'm a very persnickety customer. I'm sh I can see Shocking. that. Shocking. Yes. Yeah, I yes. can see that. <laughs> I'm squeezing pillows. I'm asking Fred counts. I'm asking him to go in the back room. Uh -huh. It was a whole thing. Good. 45 minutes later, in, in, he's coming to the Wendy show. I got what I needed. The boy's name was Michael. Michael. Hi, Michael. Hi, Michael. Welcome to New York, Michael. How you doing? Welcome to New York. <laughs> I'll see you in a couple weeks. <laughs> 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 Goodbye, I'll see you later. All right, you're going across for steak? I'm going to get some steak before rehearsal. Rehearsal for what? Not you. Good. Yeah, music for tomorrow. Good. Goodbye. Exactly. Thank you, Tristan. You know exactly which way to turn. <laughs> <laughs> Brendan goes, I like hip-hop Wendy. <laughs> Mm. Look, and they autographed it too. Tell me I don't have one for the archives. I'm gonna take this jacket off. I'm sending it immediately to the frame shop. I'm gonna have it framed. Right, Tristan? Sell it on eBay. No! Uh, oh. Excuse me? In the, you know, in a few years. A little Kev cat after you're gone. <laughs> or just keep it behind a glass so if I need something cool to wear, I just when emergency break glass, right? <laughs> um, it looks great. Did you have fun? With salt and pepper? Yeah. Yes. I love seeing peers. I love it. Especially when they don't look broken down because it makes me scared I'm closer to death. Yeah, they look good. Yeah. Oh, yeah. The cooking show looks fun, too. The cooking show looks very fun. You wanna? Yeah. Okay, man. You know what I mean? Uh -huh. Yeah. I don't know how you pulled this jacket together in like 48 hours. And 24, 36. Got this jacket. Somebody made me this jacket, and it's spot on. Thank you, 5,000 Warm Flavors. <laughs> yeah. And I'm gonna go do a commercial for Scotch tape, and then I'll see you at the uh, I was Christmas going party. To say, you need to do something with this suit other than hang out with us. I'm telling you, this is a girl magnet. Really? I don't think this is just the holiday. Yeah. Okay. Sorry, Versace. Flasher. <laughs> Ninety-nine dollars at Macy's. I like it. So what time? Um, six o'clock. Party starts at seven. I'll be there at six o one, Brendan. I'll be waiting for the make, doors open. Make sure something cold's waiting. I'll be five fifty-five. <laughs> <laughs> He's a fool. By the way, your wife's eyes look really beautiful. 
Yeah. Like, gonna she, keep them for the party and the camera like, at home. No, she could. She, <laughs> she could do that herself. It's not a big deal. No, believe, she can't do it. She's herself. got green eyes. She brought them out. They they were brought she out can't with the makeup. Do that herself. Thank you, Mr. Flawless. Actually, it's my husband's, but it's a Mr. Flawless special. It's heavy as hell. <laughs> boy, oh boy, what some people do for vanity. I could never walk around like this. I feel like hunching. It's hot, though. Not gonna lie. <laughs> I'm still of the mindset where, mm, here he comes. You know, like a guy, you know, with the swagger and a Cuban link chain and a few diamonds flowing in it. Yo, 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 I'm just, I turn to 18 all over again, like, oh. And all I want to say is, yo, 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 baby pop. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Do you ever really grow up? Yeah, or do you just have grown responsibilities that you handle, but inside you're really Peter Pan. Peter Pan. Peter Pan. All the Tinkerbell. By the way, cutest commercial on TV is the one where the kid is Peter Pan oh, oh, no, no, and no, tells the reunion. old lady she looks young. It's so good reunion. for 70. Yes, yes, they go to the reunion. <laughs> Such a cute commercial. Bye, everybody. And you have a good one. TVs and Roku and um, Netflix. Jay. Yeah, it's a good one. Boys are happy. Oh, no. What? The, what are they doing? Bailey's. The Bailey's. Oh, right. I, oh, my God. Look at my crow. Look at my crow. Here I come. Here I come, you guys. <laughs> Nothing. Nothing. We're not Nothing. Bailey's. Homemade. Homemade. It's good. Take Jimmy's juice. Jimmy oh, Jimmy, you made it? Oh, yeah. oh I'm in. Yeah. Cheers. Cheers. Cheers to 2016. Yeah. Thank you, everybody, for helping with this show to make it what it is. A mess. Yeah. Cheers. Bottoms up and all the shade. Oh, oh shit. Oh, Jimmy. Yes. Jimmy, you I'll take another and crawl to my office. <laughs> they are tasty, Jimmy. Jimmy, Woo. That's the way you Jimmy save one for me. The That's the way you who should taste. Oh, save one for Mom Tristan. You want one? I grab it. Hey, Jackie, can you grab Tristan a drink? Come on, me and my, me and my co-producer need to toast. Here, Tristan. To the after show. <laughs> and all the stuff that we do to make this show happen. And how many times our feelings get hurt by you. <laughs> Go ahead, Tristan. Do it. And then drop the camera. Not the cup. That's nice, huh? It's good. It's nice, right? It's dangerous. Like a milkshake. Yeah, I'm not, no, I had just two is enough. I'm joining them at the at the mitzvah. spot. At the mitzvah. It's, it, yeah, we're having a another show party. Listen, <laughs> we work hard and we party hard. Who are you judging? <laughs> now, we had a fabulous double-digit after show yesterday. So what do you think I'm setting you up for today? <laughs> Buy at the door. <laughs> Buy at the door. Yes, Joni. Yes. <laughs> um, I really liked every one of the Royals. That is my show. And I'll be honest with you, I'm not awake at 10 o'clock at night when they come on on Sundays because I have to be ready for you and try to be as fresh as I can. So I go to bed early. But what I do do that I love that E does, E repeats the Royals on Saturdays and sometimes Sunday. So when I'm in the house dusting, <laughs> okay, not dusting, but doing stuff. When I'm in the house, opening mail and making a list, you know, for, you know, the family plan for the week. Um, the Royals, I love, I love. Elizabeth Hurley has been here before. She is such a good girl and naughty at the same time. Hot, hot, hot. <laughs> They are? Wait, somebody's about to get married? Why, why didn't they do it during the actual show? I don't know. No, I, no, I can tell you why. Wait, 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 wait. 
Big round of applause for all of our couples, everybody. Yes, yes. Hey, right, everybody, sit, sit back down. Oh, the music. Come on, come on. You don't mind. Matter of fact, both of you, if you don't mind. Where are you guys from? Who? Pennsylvania. And what is your name, my friend? Aaron. And what is your name? By the way, I okay, know Aaron, why they don't do this on the together? actual show, and I'll tell you what. Is that right? Are you sure? Is he right? All right, Aaron. This is for you, my friend. Oh. on a talk show is so cliche. And when I got this talk show, I'm like, I don't want to be cliche. I'm not taking my wig off for ratings. I'm not doing the show with no makeup. And nobody's proposing to nobody on the show. But congratulations to them. I'm not a curmudgeon. I just don't feel like doing what has already been done at nauseum. Ugh. 78 bucks. And it fits like it was made for me. We never had this dress altered, it just came like this. This is like the first time, this is how I like a dress to fit. You know how? Maggie London, yeah, we love them. But this is how a dress is supposed to fit. You're supposed to pop out of your boobs, go in at the stomach. I should not have to wear a belt all the time to control loose material. Perfect. Maggie London gave me some sort of Slayer Award. I forgot exactly what it is. I have it in my office. She's my friend. Yeah, but it's good, it's good on you. Uh, Thanks, Carl. So, any second now, Jackie's gonna come creeping around the corner to tell me management wants to see me upstairs. We're working on a project and I have a meeting. Today is gonna be the longest day ever, Joni. You got a long mm -hmm. one. I mean, really. Really long. Yeah. <laughs> sorry. Why are you sorry? Because <laughs> I was out until nine o'clock last night. Uh, I thought you were sorry for us. Yeah, I was out. I went to three different, um, Gee, I gotta tell you, I had such an adventure yesterday. Three different restaurants, I did a wine tasting, I had a business meeting. I thought I, all I was leaving the house for is at one o'clock, I'd be back by three. Next thing you know. What is all doing over here? What, what is all What is all the happening? Problem, the credit page froze. So they're putting, they're editing it in the credits for the West Coast feed. So you don't see who, who does no what on the show? today during the live program. Well, no, I like credits. Yeah, yeah, no, they're fixing it for the feed. Do you ever watch the show all the way to the end just to see your name sometimes? My mom does. I do. My mom gets a kick out of it. Yeah. I used to, yeah, it's neat. Yeah. I mean, I TV growing up, it's like, yeah. Oh, neat, see your name. And, and I like when the show ends um, in enough time to end, but also in enough time to roll credits to credit everybody, yeah. not just me. It's long credits. Yeah. yeah it's nice. It is nice. Everybody. I like to see that. It, it is really nice. You see how many people actually work here behind the scenes to make it happen, you know? Tristan, are you, you're in the credits. Yes, every day. But but if I don't, if I only have 15 seconds because Hot Topics was too long or whatever, then the only one whose credit gets shown is me and Perler with nice. And the, uh, I think the- um, And Debmar Mercury, yeah, the cat. Yes, and then there's a few credits you have to do. You know, the- uh, Mandatory ones. Yeah. The executive producers. Like credits for like stills and videos have to show. 
you know, it's copyright has to show. DJ Boof, I saw you on Love and Hip Hop the other night. I was very, very disgusted, and I hope that's not going to be a plot oh, line. No, 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 no. I was just DJing. That's it. All right. <laughs> well, he, no, nope. I was yeah. watching, minding my own business. I was minding my own business, and I was like, "Is that Clyde?" Right. And what's he gonna start doing? Messing around with uh, Jocelyn? Next thing you know, I, you know. God. I like Craig Robinson. What a nice coat. Thank you. you guys sat in the audience the whole time. You couldn't keep your hands off each other. No, I saw. No, they were in the front row. Even during hot topics, right? Oh my God. She's sitting. She's touching him. Look, look, they can't. What is it? Are you a new relationship? Yeah, oh. we just got married. Like, we just got married. That's fine. Congratulations. Yeah. How long have you, had you dated prior? Two years. Two years. Well, you certainly are perfect for each other. Tall and slender. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you so much. And he's got really big feet. Oh. Just saying. Oh. Congratulations. <laughs> that boy who was 19 in the audience. Oh! How you doing, Wendy? Oh my gosh. You are so hairy. I love it. Thank you. Your eyebrows, your hair. Is that all you? Yes, I promise. Has it been a problem all your life? No, not really. Did you know that I was going to say that? Because you... I did not know that. Okay. <laughs> well, welcome to the show, Thank dear. you, Wendy. How are you? Very well. Thank you. How can I help you? So, I have a girlfriend. We've been dating for five happy months. I'll bet. Thank you. She's, <laughs> she's 24 and I'm 19. Um, I'm currently... <laughs> Come out here, young man. All right, so let's analyze this together. <laughs> okay, I'm currently a student and I have two part-time jobs. And Where do you I, go to school, dear? I go to Ocean County College. I'm from New Jersey. Right, I know Ocean County College. All right, um, I, so I said I have two part-time jobs and that means I have limited income. And you know, that means that it's, it's limited with how much I can wine and dine her. Right. I mean, and, and the fact that I'm not 21, I can't really go to bars, so. <laughs> <laughs> My question to you is, how can I convince her that I'm a mature enough guy for her to want to have in her future? 19 boy, 19 year old boy dating a 24 year old woman. Looks like this one. Oh, <laughs> right? Jimmy, he had the same hair too. The boy from um, Ask Wendy. From Ocean Tennis. Right. He has the thick Pretty delicious. Mm -hmm. It's good. It's Jersey Shore hair. Yeah. <laughs> and then he had the salt hair. Yeah. <laughs> But when you were 19, could you handle the attention of a 24-year-old woman? Uh, we'll not go there. Oh. Oh. 24 would have been young. Uh oh. 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 <laughs> oh. Marco. What's poppin', Wendy? And no, don't be a playboy. Just be Marco, okay? <laughs> Wait, what when, are you you, when you were 19, could you handle the feminine wiles of a 24-year-old woman? Actually, I, I did. I had a 29-year-old when I was 19. And uh, it, was, it was good. We had a good time. Shut up. Look at the young Kevin Hunter was going on. 19 and 20. I don't, I'm not talking about any of that. He's married. I had, you know. When Chuck? I was I had 20, all my boyfriends I had a fun year. 30. Yeah, I wasn't ready for I'm not saying it. It happened to me too. I wasn't ready. I was too intimidated. Like you look ready because you're larger. And that's the thing about, and even the young man in the audience, he's tall, he's larger. I wouldn't have guessed he was 19. I would have given him a Harvey, Harvey Wallbanger. He looked 21 to me. You're right. You gotta date, you gotta learn. You yeah, can't just be settled down with one person at 19, you gotta learn. No. And that's the other thing too. A 24 year old woman is looking for way too much. You're trying to, date often and date a lot. Good for him though. <laughs> yeah, yeah, he's learning a lot. Oh my God. Hopefully it'll be over by spring thaw though. You know what I mean? I wish she was here. I'd like to have seen her. I, I, didn't, I didn't ask him, was he here? I, I don't know. I didn't see... I wonder who he came with. I was looking around while you were talking. I'm like, yeah. Is he with <laughs> she, <laughs> she, 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 she. Trying to figure it out. We watch the show while we're doing the show. It's so crazy. All right, listen. All right, just for a moment. Goodbye, boys. We'll see you later. Bye. Enjoy lunch. Thanks. Robin, there was a situation with the wig. I know. And I want to talk to you about it. Excuse me, Morel. Robin, you as a wiggy know you have to do more than just wet a part for it to stay. 
and this right here was bothering me the whole show. She's separating. And there, there's, no, and then when I push it back, it looks like the wig is pushed back too far, or something. Mm -hmm. I don't, I don't, I don't know. All I know is, is that I felt so beautiful, and then when I got out there and started doing hot topics and laughing Started and being animated, I was like, oh no, my wig is falling apart. <laughs> But the makeup looked terrific. Thank you. And the dress at $78 fits like nobody's business. Yeah, you'll shake the look hot out there. Yeah. But the wig, Robin. And also I put my bump up high. Yeah, yeah. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Yes. Yeah. I don't yeah. want to blame myself for stuff yeah, too. Did. Okay, okay. No, I, I wanted a lift. <laughs> And separate. So I put my bump up high. And I will lower the bump if you make a middle part. Now. Our first, my first thought was, as soon as you come back here, you're going to tell me you shouldn't have switched the damn part. Yep. Can you put the part back? Yes, ma'am. Because <laughs> I love this. You know, this is my favorite wig. I love it. It's not even as beachy as it usually is. You messed up the whole formula. Oh, I know. I mean, this is what? the <laughs> Yes. The whole thing. Because like, normally oh. the beachy starts up here. Mm -hmm. can, can you beach? Like the oh, beachy yes. is only from the neck down here. Say. So, so we need beach from eyebrow. I want my eyebrow. wigs to look as good as yours. How about that? Uh -uh. <laughs> <laughs> Wait a minute. Okay. But mine starts here too. I like a center part. Okay. You know why? I think a center part, even though I used to love a side part, but I think a center part is more, um, it just works better until it doesn't. Or until you change your mind. Yeah. I was, I, and I was she'll be over it. I was <laughs> just thinking that in my head. That's fine. All right. Uh -huh. All right. All right. But otherwise, you, your, your hair looks nice. Oh, God. <laughs> Hey. And on that note, hey. the arms of an angel. <laughs> I didn't know what to do with my wings, and so I love that Memsor has them on the back of his chair like that. It's a good one, Quilly. Quilly. Yes. Was that? Why are you hiding, Quilly? Yeah. <laughs> Why are you hiding the details of your jacket? Oh goodness. Tristan's goes. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on, I'm sorry. Let me get it. He's in it. Oh, yes. Oh, my God. Get a little closer. No. All right. So as much as I wanted you guys to come all the way in, I really like. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Here's, okay, here's my Pilates coach. And we have a good time together. Um, as much as I would love for you to say, Jackie is lucky. She's got to show me something. I forgot that I bought a delicious Reuben sandwich today that I'm gonna put in the toaster oven. It's heavy as hell. Feel how heavy the sandwich is. Jesus. I know. Sorry. So I'm gonna put it in here. It should take about an hour and a half. Oh, no, 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 no. I must put it in the wrong <laughs> thing. I must put it in the microwave. <laughs> Light up the whole building. <laughs> um, but look, Craig was fun, Kirstie's coming, and Ricky's smiley tomorrow. Kirstie is gonna air next week. No, I know. I said yeah. she's coming. Yeah. And and Ricky Smiley tomorrow. Yep. Yeah. So that's a whole lot of fun, you guys. I love you for watching the after show. Thank you for understanding that uh, Tristan has no Ask Wendy's and that even if he did. That's right. How's your electric blue jumpsuit coming? Well, you know what? I've hey, got to check with the wardrobe department about. I love that gold cool proof. Okay. How about you mind your business, sir? Oh, wow. Jason said mind your business. You know why? Because I think the I think the wardrobe uh, warlock is trying to make me forget about no, the. I'm not trying to make you forget, but you're gonna get something else. I'm not a warlock. <laughs> warlock. Oh, just Some, sometimes you act warlockish. I'm not gonna be. I'm not gonna wear that outfit. Let's go just this way. It's Beyonce. We we had the bootleg version. I don't want the Beyonce one. I don't want to pay three thousand dollars for something I want to wear one time. 
I thought we were gonna get somebody cheap and cheerful to just make it. <laughs> All right. Well, then, can I have it for the Britney Spears concert? In, in Vegas? Yes. Fantastic. I'm going to see Britney in Vegas. I would like to wear the blue jumpsuit. Okay. Well, now it. it you, will, you will be wearing a jumpsuit. But now it goes from the privacy of parading around in our Christmas party in a blue jumpsuit to parading wow. through <laughs> through a casino and going to see Britney. <laughs> <laughs> Get your money's worth. Um, but I'm going to be wearing a jumpsuit at our Christmas party. Is it going to be tight? Oh yes. Thank you. Can you believe the lady in um, uh, the lady who wanted the th was asking about the threesome with her boyfriend? I'm Rebecca, and I've been with my boyfriend for about a year now, and he's open to having a threesome with his ex, though, with his ex. Now, I don't we're feel not, like... We're still judging. <laughs> <laughs> okay? Go ahead. Now, I don't have a problem with it because he's been done, did that, whatever. Do you think it's a threat to my relationship? I think any woman in your bed is a threat to your relationship. But she old news. I'm new me. <laughs> if your boyfriend wants to have a threesome, here's what you do. <laughs> Well, first of all, I don't like that you've only been with him for a year and then and now you want to do this. But, you know, uh, look, I'm not going to judge what goes on in other people's bedrooms, but the way to have a threesome is to plan a trip, like, to the Bahamas or something, <laughs> and you find a cute ma uh, chambermaid, <laughs> and you don't give her your real name. And, it, I mean, if, he, if that's what he wants to do, and you, you're, you're open to giving him this gift, yeah. do not do it with anybody uh, on, uh, in, in America. <laughs> Okay. What I love is that people are just very open. It might not be your taste, but isn't it nice to know it's somebody's taste? <laughs> Feeling my hip bones, thinking I don't want to have lunch. Mm. I asked, I asked um, Jordan Sparks. Last time she was here, because you know she's lost all that weight and kept it off, I said to her, what's your favorite body part? She said, my hip bones. I was like, I thought I was the only one. Oh. Look at our guest. Thank you, boss. You're very welcome. I'll see you at 145. I have to go, and I'm going to tell you why. Come here. Hello. Hi. Mm -hmm. How are you? <laughs> I'm gonna get a massage. <laughs> In Morel's room and he's mad. Go across the street and get something to eat. Hey. I don't wanna oh. I don't I don't like when they move the, the table in my room. Oh. I know you're probably saying, well, why don't I just get it in my own room? Uh -huh. No, I don't like when they move the table. It's a very delicate table that it could break. Um all right, I'm gonna walk you to the door. I have very limited time for lunch. I can't decide whether I want tuna fish, maybe a tuna melt, maybe cheddar. What color is the jumpsuit, the jumpsuit that I'm wearing at our party? Can we leave some surprises? Uh, 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 oh. Excuse me, I gotta go. Ooh. Wig, I love the wig today. Oh, thank you. I noticed that you listen to me and you're reading Facebook because mm -hmm. you see how he's connected the bang. There's mm -hmm. no separation. Nice and silky, thanks to Kim's. What is it, this Brazilian nut and Ackerberry serum? Thanks, Kim Kimmel. <laughs> Guess whose birthday it is today? Happy birthday, her. <laughs> <laughs> Not her. <laughs> what are you still doing standing there? I'm trying to get by. Oh, all right. I love you for watching. Yes. Anyway, um, and then we had a fight over what the what was in the rainbow, because I'm like we're gonna run out of dates. So I said to, to Memsor, "Where's the pink?" If I could have these shoes in every single color, I would take them. Manolos, but look at the heel. Oh my gosh. Did you see me bounce out of the double doors today? Bouncing and dancing. Get away from me, Chuck. I can walk. Look at me walk. <laughs> Bye, John. Thank you. Bye. Um, I was only playing Chuckles. Chuckles. Yeah, don't you call him that. <laughs> Remember Chuckles Candy? 
I'd suck the sugar off and then let the jelly roll around in my mouth before my parents saw me. Mm. Charles, we have a few errands to run. Okay. And then I'm going right home. I had a lovely weekend watching life go by. It was beautiful. The, nice, the, the wind was whipping so hard last though. Night, right? No, all weekend, all weekend. Are you kidding me? All weekend. Yeah, it was a situation. Hmm. Josh, man, he bought that stuff for Father's Day. Every last one of those things is great. So happy Father's Day, Daddy. <laughs> if you're watching this, you know what you're getting. I was at the mall this weekend. I even forgot. I, I forgot. I went to the mall by myself. I was the only one in there. I ran into a girlfriend of mine in the shoe department. So you know how when the mall's empty, you can literally sit in the shoe department for like two hours and talk. Nobody bothers you. <laughs> You know, you try on a few shoes. I bought nothing, but you know, I wanted to act like I was buying something so I could just sit there <laughs> with my friend and we talked for like two hours and I came home. Ugh. So, um, this is the first day since the invention of this show that Suzanne hasn't been here. And I noticed it. Bye, everyone! And I noticed it immediately. Even though the audience was equally as loud, Eden, who was doing the Suzanne today? Marco G. Oh, he did a really good job. Oh, wait, now hold on now. Hold on. Do you know how expensive nuts are in the store? I do. Mmm. Ugh, I'm not a fan of corn nuts though. I'm scared I'm gonna break my teeth. My dentist was at the movie for the Hunter Foundation on Saturday. My dentist, his wife, and his kids, he's got like four kids. And as soon as I saw him, I went into guilt mode. I'm like, oh my gosh. I talked to him like this. Bye, Eden, thank you. Eden was doing um, Brendan's job because apparently Brendan and Suzanne are on vacation or something or another. With, with, like she wasn't here today, but Mark, the audience still sounded loud. Oh, uh, little Petey is graduating. It's his, oh, uh, Pete's graduating. Yes. Are you going? He already graduated. Oh, he already graduated. I'm here. This morning. Okay. Oh, he already graduated this morning. So sh they'll they'll be here by noon then, right? To finish out the day's work. <laughs> but I think they're celebrating. Pete, Pete had a few requests to celebrate his graduation. So, so then Susanna will be here by three, right? To finish out her work? <laughs> no, that, that, that's very sweet. It's very nice. Um, what was I just telling? Oh, do you like nuts? I do. I wasn't? Oh, sorry. Excuse me. Um, I like some nuts. Do you like beer nuts, Tristan? Mm. Do you like the elephant nuts? I like pistachio. No, we're not going to have these. No, no, no. I spent so much money on pistachio that this is I my, you, this you. is my reparation. <laughs> okay. <laughs> My family, please. And walnuts. They could. Yeah, I like walnuts and too. Buttery. Uh, pecans. I love pecans. I'm a cashew and pecan almond guard. Pie. I like a pecan pie like as well. Pecan. You're a cashew? An almond guard. Hi, Tristan. Young Morning. Kevin loves cashews. I love um, chocolate covered almonds. Not with the chocolate shell, but with the chocolate powdery stuff. I like them, and I also like macadamia nuts. Very buttery. They also are really expensive. Not my favorite. They're not your favorites. Just give me almonds and cashews. Almonds and cashews. Go ahead. Okay. Was your son gonna give you anything for Father's Day besides a headache? He yeah, always does. He's a good kid. What's he going to give you, you think? I don't know. What brand of t-shirt is that? I like that it's long <laughs> enough. No. This is call it a blouse. <laughs> no, it's not black. No. Wait. Oh, this is all part of it. Yes. Where'd you get this? From behavior. No, I like the, the, the longness of the sleeves. Thank you. I do too. It kind of shows off my cuts. Is this a hood? Or no. Or like a cow neck? Kind of like a, a, a buffalo neck. You know. I like it though. A little bigger than a cow. Yeah. Thank you. Here comes the read. No, I was thinking, do you guys want to go to the Pride Parade? 
at the end of the month. Oh, that'd be fun. Show a little pride. We'll see if the show can rent us a convertible and if we can get in the procession. Oh, that would be grand. <laughs> a pink convertible? Something. A Bentley? Well, just something that fits something all cute. of us. Yeah. And, like, Charles could drive it. Mm-hmm. And we could just sit on the hood <laughs> and get our wave on yep. Chuckles. Yeah, Chuckles yes, will drive. Yes, and then we just Ms. wave. Thing. Yes. And I could wear a good long wig. A good one. Like, maybe that one, but with a baseball <laughs> hat. Like the share wig, but with a baseball hat. Oh, that'd be fun. That'd be a lot of fun. So, there's no nagging. Mm hmm There's no tugging, nagging, no nothing. Mm -hmm. We can have on little shorts, no shirts. Right? With some thigh high socks. I could wear those Rihanna boots because I won't be walking. Would you have one leg over the outside the door so people can see them? Yes! <laughs> and a pair of poop poop shorts underneath. Just Right? <laughs> That'd be cool. That'd be cool. I mean, I have to do something with them. Or you can get out and do a couple steps behind the car. A, a couple? Yeah. While a holding on body, to it. A little body roll and get back right? in. Right? And yeah. then get back in. <laughs> Oh, we should go. Let's I got my costume it. planned in my head. Let's do it. I love a parade. Let me see if I can make something happen. I, you know what? It's late, though, in the day. Like, normally they... It's on a Saturday, right? The last Sunday of every Sunday. gym. Let's make it happen. The problem is, is that we weren't invited. <laughs> and they line up the cars... Like, the procession is already done. I mean, come on. I mean, you are really... The weird. gayest person okay, ever. Okay, okay, Miss Thing. If we just... You're the queen of daytime TV. If we just showed up and just parked within the procession, and like... just merged into traffic. <laughs> <laughs> hey, excuse me. I have my blinkers on. <laughs> my blinkers on. <laughs> <super Woo>! <laughs> <laughs> that would be... That would be cute. That would be, like, so... That, being in a car on the down low is better than being in a float on the up high. Because mm -hmm. a float, like, you're way up there. You know, you're, like, waving down at people. In a car, you're on the street level, so you can get out mm -hmm. and work your boots and then get back in the car. We still, we can wave, do a little body roll, sitting back, sitting up. Yeah, 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 yeah. Let's make it happen. Let's do it. Oh, my gosh. I'm down. That would be so much fun. All right, Tristan, can you talk to somebody? <laughs> I, will, I will let them know that you would like to Other people that. don't call out people. Uh, no, <laughs> well, here's the thing. We don't want to float. All we need is a convertible. A convertible? Yep. A good one. And poom poom shorts. Uh, I've already got the poom poom shorts. We already have our costumes, don't we, Wig? Aren't you in a convertible? You can Instagram? Snapchat. You can Snapchat during the whole... Yeah, my convertible <laughs> does not fit. <laughs> I was in the convertible. She, she has a convertible. <laughs> that, um, uh, no, we need one that Charles can fit in. <laughs> <laughs> Don't tell him we talked about him. <laughs> okay, that's fair enough. <laughs> Charles? If we, um, oh my gosh, Patrick is back. Hey, How's hey, the baby? Baby's good. Baby's good. Remember, Patrick delivered his baby on the bathroom floor. I did. I yeah. did. Yeah. Baby's good, healthy. Good. Eat, sleep, and do nothing. Good. Yeah. That's what babies do. That's babies and puppies. Yes. Hey, Chuck. No, I want all of them. I only see one with your name. I'll go on that. All right. I'll okay. Hey, Chuck. We have an idea. Yeah. <laughs> if if we get a convertible for Gay Pride Day, would you drive it so then the four of us can sit on the back and wave at people? Okay. Oh. You gotta wear poom poom shorts too, though. No, 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 no. <laughs> no he's security. So, yeah. Yeah. And then me and wig and lipstick and wardrobe. We just sit on the back, just get our wave on. And he's going to wear, um, they're going to all wear poom poom shorts. And I'm going to wear my chaps um, from Anola Blahnik that I'll never mm -hmm. be able to wear again. And but I'm just going to step out. Every once in a while, I'm going to step out. I'm going to hold on to the car. And I'm going to do a body roll. And then I'm going to get back in the car <laughs> and continue on. Okay. Now, you might want to think about who's going to ride side saddle with you. I'm not exactly sure. Um, maybe Mike. Maybe Mike. Mike. That would work. Mm -hmm. And then the four of us will be just sitting in the back like the cover girls. Okay. Cover man. Yeah. Yeah. All right, so, all right, just because we talk about it doesn't mean it's going to happen. Okay. Because now we have to run it past the guy with the calculator. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> but if I tell him, look, I won't buy any new pair of shoes for the rest of the season, no new dresses, no new wigs. 
We only have like five more weeks before the season's over. Well, it's not over until it's over. But we don't have to go shopping. It's not over until it's over. Okay, well, if they get us a fly, you know, Ferrari or something. Oh, then it's over. Uh, okay. Then it's over. Exactly. Like, we're too, if we're going to do it, we're going to do it. Dip it into it. Okay. Okay. okay I love you for watching. It's a, it's a, um, J. It's a J. Crew skirt um, in a beautiful lemony delicious color. I like to tie your shirt at the waist, you know? It doesn't show a sliver of, of skin or anything, but you tie your shirt at the waist and it just makes for an easier, breezier time. There's nothing coming out of your skirt. It gives you a good shape. And it gives you a good shape when you tie your skirt at the waist. Memsor didn't want me to tie it today, but I said, listen, you, you don't understand. You pick out beautiful clothes, but I'm the one who has to wear them. These shoes are the bee's knees, Manolo's. They go with, every, yes, hello, welcome to spring. Look, even the inside, spring, honey. <laughs> Size 12, spring. I do adore Joy Behar, I really do. And I have a very small family. My Aunt Marilyn is the outspoken one. Um, and she, uh, but I don't get a chance to see her a lot, but she's got a big mouth. Oh my God, boy, oh boy, that Aunt Marilyn. Oh, sorry. I love her to death. You, she she says you, just anything like that Joy Behar. So now the cat's out of the bag, you know. I'm gonna be doing stand up at the Venetian in Vegas. I'm so excited. I've already started working on my jokes and my stories, my twisted sense of humor. So she said, keep the room cold. And I say, make sure everybody has a couple of drinks before I, before I step out on stage. I want to be the only sober one in the house, so I have total control over my jokes. <laughs> um, I have to go to the voice booth. Yes. Yeah, I have to. Um, oh, you took my mic off. Oh. Well, we have a chance to talk because Joni took my mic off. We can go in here and see what they're doing. Hi, Wendy. What are you doing? We're waiting for you because we're going to record some lines for the VO, and then we're going to meet with you about your 50th birthday show. Okay. And talk to you about your seven or your eighty minute. It, no, seventy, 70 minutes stand, stand up in a room of seven hundred and fifty people. Wow! I know I'm not scared. Why? You shouldn't be. Yeah. I, I remember on your bus, on your first bus tour, there were places that had five hundred people standing in the mall. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not nervous. I have um, some some really good people have been giving me advice, and um, I've already started working on my jokes. And my jokes come from a place, you know, all comedians are funny from a place of sad. So now I'm far enough removed from a lot of the stuff that tormented me in my younger years that I can actually laugh with you about it and tell you some stizories. <laughs> do you need somebody there like to do the rim shot for you? Like that. <laughs> <laughs> Would that be Suzanne? Oh, Suzanne? Suzanne can just we sit like a little... I need her. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I can't go to Vegas. Well, you can always bring them with you. Oh, You can no. prop them up in the back. Yes, that's a great yeah. idea. <laughs> this is where it all goes down. This is the, you know... Flight deck. Yeah. It's hot in here, you guys. Uh -huh. What the hell? You would want to just stand up here. It's too hot. Yeah, it's yeah, going to be cold. cold. Yeah, I'm going to keep a cold room. Mm -hmm. Are we ready, guys? Yeah, yeah. Okay, we're ready for you. I was just waiting for um, um, Joni to get the microphone. Hi, Steve. Three lines. Can yeah, I'm over here, Roberta. Do you need me? No, just you're good. Rutabaga. <laughs> what is she going to do if she can't find me? Can you fight, Ro? No, never been in a fight in my life. And she's from San Diego. <laughs> That's not a read, I'm just saying. She's a nice girl from San Diego. Look, um, can I meet you right after this? Okay. Get to step in. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's only 10 after. I can change in I can change in three minutes. Come on, we have to make our meeting big. You just heard her say, I have a meeting upstairs. So when we get there. Hello. Hello. When we get to the room, then I'm sorry, I have to go. Um, I had a lot of fun today on the show, though. I did. And, uh, see? Yeah, you, you saw that, Joni? Yes. 
Well, I tell you why it happens. So many things. Or why I, I mean, because they know that when I put my shoes on, I don't handle with care. I squish the back down, scuff lean them up, the lean them on the side and everything. And it's you know, faster this way too. It, it is faster that way. <laughs> So there, that's not part of his job description. However, I, I will tell you, you know, I am twice his age and it's easier for him to get down there and do it <laughs> than, than, than me. <laughs> bye, bye Joni, thank you. I'll tell you one thing, in my own house though, when I take off, bye everyone. In my own house, when I take off my clothes, I don't dare throw them on the floor. I hang them right up or put them in the dirty clothes or in the cleaner's pile or whatever. But here, <laughs> I must tell you, one luxury is, yeah, I just take my clothes off. I don't throw them on the floor, but I throw them on Memsor's desk and I throw the hanger there and they figure it out. Hang them, dry, clean them or whatever. That I do like. Bye love. Bye. Thank you, Vita. You're welcome, honey. Bye, baby. Bye, darling. Who is that, Suzanne? I gotta ask Kevin something. Is he in there? No. Oh, okay. Somebody um said uh, to me the other day uh, that you and Marco do a really great job of warming up the crowd. Oh, and that's they, really nice. They, <laughs> oh, he was about to give you a hug. <laughs> I'm, I'm, uh, or something. I'm, I'm on the after show. Those pants. <laughs> Disco. <laughs> <laughs> he said, don't steal the oh, thunder. this is his thing. He's on the after show. No, Vita walked back here. You're doing Doug's job this yeah, week. Exactly. Listen, and so she thought that you were really, you know, the clapper. And I said, no, you know, Suzanne, you know, she just does that, yeah. you know, out here when I'm actually doing the show. I mean, Suzanne's got a real job here. She's yeah. my supervising producer. Yeah, senior supervising Se producer. Senior supervising yes, I, I got a new title a couple years ago. Oh uh, yeah, I don't it's okay. That's I don't know I'm what saying. that is. All I know is that she's yeah. in supervising the producers every time they come in my office. Yeah. I got a real job. She's so got I a, just don't clap. She's got Thank yeah, you. she's not she's not just the clapper. Thank you. You know. Mm -hmm. <laughs> clap on, clap on, the clapper. So now what are you guys gonna do? Get on the subway and go back to Queens? Well, um, Long Island Railroad. Long Island Railroad. We don't really take we don't take the subway either. Oh, you don't go in that hole? No, uh -huh. <laughs> we stay above ground. Uh -huh. We're gonna go have a cocktail. Yeah. Oh yeah. good. Yeah. So who's watching uh, Pete and Jack? Uh, they, they watch each other. They're in a drawer. <laughs> Shut. <laughs> well have a good week. Bye. Thank you. Bye. I told you, I, I can't, please. That was, that, look, I just gave you a lot of information in just a couple of moments. Mm -hmm. You know, the, the walk and talk, that's what I call it when, when I'm not in my office with you. I call it a walk and talk. It's when we walk and I talk. <laughs> oh. oh. <laughs> Where is he going and why is he switching like a girl? <laughs> And why is it that I didn't see Morel the whole show? And where is Wig? Oh, Willie's still here picking up clothes off the floor. <laughs> I love you for watching and understanding. And I'll see you next time. Chico's. How much was it? This is on sale at Chico's right now for $34. It is, is it net to tie. The skirt, however, is probably... The skirt, however, I'm sure is not available seeing as I've had it since season one of the show. If you couldn't tell by the bigness of it. And then the shoes. The shoes are available. The shoes are available. Manolo. Manolo Blonix. I'm still wearing flats because I'm still toe-ish. Thanks, Charles. my second book. Vintage. Uh-huh. And this one right here. These came from the same person? Yeah, same person. Wow, this is my first book. My autobiography. It was my son, uh, my son, Freudian slip. My husband was encouraging my poses. So if you're wondering why my boobs are out, it's because I was encouraged <laughs> and I love it. <laughs> Thank you. Here, Charles. So, can you take in a leather skirt? Yeah. 
It has size. It's a panel skirt, so we can like take in the size a little bit. The waist still fits really nicely. It's just the rest of it. It's very baggy. And the more you sit in it, the more baggy it gets. <laughs> I really like this skirt. You can do a fitting. It brings back memories. Of season one. Oh. And then what happened is I, I started eating a lot, you know, the good life started settling in. And then it got too tight. The good life with uh, Nicole Richie and. Yes. Oh, that's a simple life, sorry. Yes. <laughs> you know, Perla, he's my executive producer. But you're the runner, executive producer. Uh, right. Show runner, they say sometimes, but I don't know what that means. I, that means that when I go home, that he you're still the, here. Right. Right. <laughs> sometimes. <laughs> um, can I ask you a quick question? Uh, about rehearsal, because I know that you have to go. You're going to Fox. No, that um, today. No. No, I heard you're you not going to Fox. No, where's she going? Canceled. Suzanne, nobody hears you over there. Suzanne, come on in. Okay, so where uh, is she originally going? Originally, the plan was get her. You were supposed to go to Fox for an interview. Yes. And then the car was supposed to take you from Fox and bring you here to rehearse at two o'clock. Right. But now you're not going to Fox. Because I've had a dermatologist appointment for two months. So you're gonna do that? Well, you know I yep. have lower leg eczema uh, and I see something starting right here. No, we don't want it to creep up to oh my, my cheeks. Oh my gosh, okay, this is imp important. What, what, what time, time is, is your doctor's appointment? Three o'clock in Jersey. Okay, so what if we do the rehearsal at 12 noon today till 12.30? Well, I have a meeting with management. Oh. However, oh. Maybe the management meeting could be at 12.30. Oh, okay. Why do we have to rehearse for a half hour? I thought we were all professional. We have to do um, a couple things that are new. Oh, I and... have to give them the business. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and we just want to make sure they are... What'd you say, Perler? I just said, mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> You've been here way too long. Mm -hmm. You're now doing affectations of a black woman. <laughs> I am mm -hmm. a black woman. <laughs> a black when will woman. we hear from your management? Um, I check in with your management? Check in with management. And see if that meeting can be at 12.30. We, right. we really want okay. you to see the spring cha-ching because it's yeah. for, it starts on Thursday. All and right. there's some the phone call beats to it that okay. we know okay, you so love, we, so we want you to see okay, this. Bye. All right, then you go to management. <laughs> Perler, I'm going over to my office. All right, I'm going to go get a haircut in case anybody sees me in the uh, after show. Kick my ankle and watch what happens. Oh. My foot. I felt wind by my um, no, I knew I was pinky going. toe. Hi. Everybody's so quiet. Oh, that's because we're here. So as soon as we disappear into my office, you can turn the... No, I got it. Oh, what happens on the show tomorrow? I tomorrow forget. we got um, Sandra Lee, Corey Hartrick. I see. That's right. Corey's coming in, Sandra Lee. And I believe the other guy, Eric. I text Tristan today, or this weekend, when I met, to t I text Tristan, I said, I hope you remember to make breakfast. Or what did I say to you? What are you making for breakfast? Yeah. And, um, and that was meant for my nephew. That was, but you know. At 8.30 in the morning. At 8.30 in the morning. Margo's like, who's texting you at 8.30 in the morning? Oh, was she suspicious? <laughs> Did she look at you with a side eye? <laughs> like, like, like I was a hoa? <laughs> no, you want to know what? Um, no, because you know why? We were on our way to the airport, and my son and my nephew tend to like to go out to eat every single meal. And in the meantime, he's in culinary school. So, you know, cook. That's what you do, cook. He doesn't live with us. He lives in Brooklyn. But, you know, when we, when we went to um, Houston for women's empowerment. So I'm like cook you know so I went to the grocery store the day before and he was with me and you know I, I we bought everything that they would need and I said you're not moving don't go out um, for any meals that gets expensive and you know who has money like that you know at their age so I t Tristan's name is next to Travis see the <laughs> TR thing in my phone and sometimes it'll happen that my thumbs will be fat and I will push I will text uh, Tristan instead <sighs> All right, well look, I wanna, um, I wanna look at my haul. 
<laughs> in, the, in the meantime, um, oh, uh, in Detroit, look down here. This is where I'm going to be on Friday. And for those of you who aren't going to be in Detroit, I'm trusting that you'll be at home watching Bruce Jenner. Bruce Jenner. Are you and Margo going to watch with a snack? We're going to be at my sister-in-law's wedding, so... Damn it, man! Can't she postpone it? <laughs> <laughs> Margo asked if they can put it on at the bar, so we'll see. No, 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 no. That, 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 that's not the kind of thing that you want to watch with a group of people, because everybody's talking and yeah, loud. Give you all right. Yeah. We got one of those. Yeah, I, I need me one of those. <laughs> all right. Well, I love you for watching the after show, and I'll see you next time on... What? You want to watch? Want some nail polish? Who needs a purse? Okay. Bye.